The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. You got a date? Your homegirl is here. Homegirl just popped Stop up. I didn't even girl. know. Hey, girl. Hey How friend. you doing, homegirl? Hey, friend. She came here very aggressive. <laughs> and she looked like she ready to go, too. She, she walked in well, here looking around and shit. Well, you know what's funny? I'm, I've, I've seen a lot of Mel's homegirls. This looks like a Friday homegirl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you look like one of the weekend homegirls. <laughs> I got to step out. I seen a couple of her Tuesday friends. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Chicks that look like a Thursday morning of work. <laughs> Today, though, your weekend friend it's is here. And then you it's, let it's us a know. Super comp- it's a compliment. And then you let us know that, oh shit, and we have a translator. <laughs> <laughs> We are translating today. In case you start speaking Canadian. Then you let us know. Yeah, it must be some Canadian hospitality yeah, going on. You also let us know that you met this young lady during a double date. You guys bonded and remained friends. The two niggas is out of here. <laughs> you know what? The two niggas is done, right? I'm just wondering if I should yeah, right? let that narrative. They um, out of here. I, I wish I, yeah, because that's, that's really good. That's a good version, but it's not the truth. Of course it isn't. It's, it's not course. the truth. Of course it isn't, isn't it? She was in a relationship. Oh, and shit. um Spill her business. <laughs> she was in a relationship, and I basically told her and her dude, I was like, yo, find me somebody. And they found me somebody. They were like, so we're going to go on a double date. And then both of y'all lost to somebody's. Because they didn't walk in. <laughs> right. No, they, they didn't did walk not. in behind you. Like, salute, what's up, y'all? What's up, no. fellas? <laughs> no, they didn't. It wasn't that. It was just, hey. And, and y'all look like y'all going out to find some new somebody. <laughs> yeah, you got your Yo, cow print, got, yeah, cow yeah, print yeah, yeah, heels yeah, on. Yeah. Is this true? You went and got a Manny. Mm. <laughs> You've you been know, in here about toe, 10 weeks without a Manny, out. though. Yeah, I see what it is. You've been in here without a Manny plenty of times. But this weekend, shit look a little even. No, no. No. No, she done came to work without her. <laughs> she don't give a fuck about that. She don't give a fuck about that. But today, though, <laughs> something Is she going different. with you to the pause packing district? The pause packing district. Sky's the limit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. It's one of them Fridays. No, no, Sky's no, no, the no, limit. Those no, are my no, favorite no, Fridays. No, 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 no. no, no. no literally, no. though. No. Let's keep on. Literally. <laughs> they got to go on a PJ somewhere. Sky's the limit. Sky's the, mm. the limit. Not fooling me. Mm. So no. what happened to the other date? It's over. It might be some shot of clocks tonight. What happened to that nigga? <laughs> I don't like how niggas be playing with you. Did he hear the episode? I didn't. I, I could not. You didn't give him the free Patreon membership pass? Hell fucking no. 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 No, absolutely not. No double days tonight, huh? No. No. Oh, wait, wait. Cool. It's have, over? You seen, have you seen him since Boundaries. Then? Respect boundaries, you guys. Mm. You cut You cut him. You cut him. You cut him. Yeah, you did. You let the pod make you cut that nigga? Can we crack jokes on you mean a nigga on a, a, dating a fan? Yeah. All right, Chloe. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn. That's why you saw her, a younger you and her. Damn. Public perception. I'm about to get at her. I'm tired of her shit. It's not here. <laughs> yeah. On my phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I, I, ain't let, you, man. I ain't letting none of the Pilates chicks cut me off early in the court shit. <laughs> Them chicks got too much time to think. They just sitting on a mat, sweating, <laughs> listening to their fucking thoughts, mad at shit, <laughs> mad at they diet, mad they got to eat this lettuce wrap. Eat the sweet All potato with, with tapalia, tilapia. They want to call tilapia. you and try to go off and prove that they better than you because they drink almond milk and shit. Nah. I definitely- you know, this isn't going to go and work out because I just did 200 Pilates and you down. <laughs> it's one of those <laughs> workout chicks. Oh man, yeah, I know. Come on, let's talk mm. about some of this. Uh, but what's N- the opposite NPR of the shit up here? You get, you get, you get the, the, the BBL instead. Have you That's noticed that she's not? Un- have y'all noticed she's not unpacking shit today? Like, what's up? She what's up, man? No, no, do not put that on me. That is not Maybe true. Maybe this is the shirt she'll wear tonight. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kev, bad man, Kev, 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 band man. I don't know none of these new niggas' names. I don't know who that is neither. What? Yo, if you didn't put an album out before 08 or 
at 0808 is the, the benchmark for me. I might not know who you are or what you do. You know the news cycle just put a new rapper in front of us. Yeah. It don't matter if they got songs or anything. It's just like, oh, rapper XYZ was in some bullshit. Here you go. And you're like, oh, yeah, him. Yeah. Name a record. Like, oh, you know I, the song that went viral? No. Yeah, no, no. I, don't. I don't know him. I don't know the song. <laughs> I don't know his sister. I don't know the set. What flag is that? Like, I don't know what's going on now. But, uh, but salute, you know. Men are secretly getting plastic surgery. Uh, apparently 1.3 million men are getting BBLs, lipo, and et cetera. Uh, et cetera we, is the meat. We know this to be true. So, yeah. I mean, why is this news? Why is it shocking? I think it's shocking to Mel because she didn't think niggas was doing it. And I told well, you she ain't before. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> How'd she know what niggas is doing? Is that our business? Well, I'm just saying, it's niggas ain't walking in her room, taking a shower, coming out, letting their dick hang. I'm like, yo, honey, what you watch? What we watching tonight? Like she's missing the experience. So as you know, it's true. I am. Niggas um, getting all types of shit done. Just niggas be saving up. Yeah, man. Yeah. What? Walk the line. Get out of there. I agree with everything. Go. I'm not getting Get out of there. I'm not. I, I see. This is a new. I see male shit today, and I, I know she got something going on. So I'm gonna follow her. And see what the fuck going on. It's like, hey, I want you, I want you, I want you, he would too. I want you, I want you to leave her. He mean follow her in real life. <laughs> no, yeah, I do. I do. He gonna be in the car behind. <laughs> Homer oh, Simpson oh, in the fucking oh, bushes. Shit. Where's Mel going? <laughs> you, you, why you, is Carl you, you Winslow following us? <laughs> oh, yo, oh, wow. Damn. Wow. wow. Let's fuck up. Yo, Joe. <laughs> Your man. See, it's different. Hey, flip. Hey, flip. It's different when it's not Wednesday. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, nigga. That My Wednesday shit got numbers, shade. nigga. That Wednesday shade. I support it, though. That he win, do. That he Wednesday. do. Oh, that's the support. <laughs> <laughs> the support me. He, he ain't been up here yet. I ain't seen him. Yeah, I, I invited you, too. I invited you, too, to come eat with us. Hang I, out. I, I, yeah, I know. You say you think you could get his services for a plate of food? <laughs> nigga, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. You think some chicken is going to get Big Freeze out the house? You feeding into the stereotypes about black people? <laughs> Word, yo. Hey, fuck you. Chicken ain't going to get it done. Nah, Stop it's not going to be It got it done for me, though. That plate was lunch and dinner. <laughs> Word, that shit was I took bang, it to go man. play, ate a little bit, went to bed. Got in the got in the ass, <laughs> snuggled up with myself. I be going crazy in the bed after I say goodnight to my girl. Oh, that be the annoying part when you gotta stop. when you gotta look at your girl say goodnight, phone, FaceTime, yeah, nah, and pretend like you can't. Nigga, move. I'm trying to get this. That's when you get that's when you get up and go in the closet and put yeah, that shit on. Lie, he, he really, he, uh, right. He's smart though. He's really, that's smart. Let me not say that. He, nah, that's when he get up and get in the and closet. You gotta look and go sad put that. when you hanging up with He's your girl. Like, damn, th- yo. Hey, 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 He's flip. crafty, but when, no, I want to talk about. I can't believe I gotta I, go through the night without talking hey, to flip. you, baby. Fuck. When he do that, then he hang up. I hang the closet, alone. Put that shit on, and then that's when he hit the streets. <laughs> I want to talk. She about, think he sleep. I want to talk about Wednesday. <laughs> he ain't fooling nobody. Wait, either. wait. What'd you say? What'd you say? I said that's when you hang up with her. Then you go in the closet, put that shit on, and hit the streets. No, I did. You ain't fooling. You ain't fooling nobody. I did that before too, and got caught. You would get caught. Ain't got caught. Thought you sleep. My girl, y'all think rabbit hole is some shit. My girl is the first one to realize that if she know the strip club you at and the bartenders that's working, she can effectively have the entire place surveilled while she's home. Because <laughs> all the bartenders do is live stream and do this uh, the whole night. Pretty easy. The whole night. <laughs> <laughs> and if your girl knows you, which she does, she know how to corner this pinky look. <laughs> she know how this toe look. Uh-huh. She know your pants, shirts. She got your drawers memorized. She knows. So the second that shit hit a corner a little bit, you thought you cleaned it up. Nah, 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 nah. Too late. Mm-hmm. It's too late. <laughs> and it's live. Oh, now nigga, your girl calling you. Now she, she she we kept the foul. We kept the foul. Your girl screen recorded all that shit. That yeah. story twenty four hours. She, she means nothing. J- Joe is now she calling you in the morning earlier than she normally calls. Mm. Thinking, damn, my baby's up early. Or she, she didn't sleep. sleep. <laughs> or she night. ain't slept at night. all. Nigga, she, yeah. Actually, she's been waiting for you to wake up. So you could have a conversation. Joe is Those favorite. are the best talks to wake up to. <laughs> how'd, you sleep Man. Last, how'd you sleep last night? <laughs> yeah. Joe is faithful. Um, I've watched her closely. <laughs> no, no, no. no. no Follow him too? No, I zoomed in because I had a guest walk by. He didn't look. His eyes didn't deviate. He didn't look at her ass or nothing. And he I went to the class. Her. I just respect it. I watched it. <laughs> that nigga eyes was straight. This nigga's a stone. <laughs> this nigga like Robocop. Salute. You could. 
Bro, when you go to You're class, very faithful, you teach respect you all that shit, bro. Me personally, I take chances. Um, right. um I take chances. Um, uh, yeah, I go the him. Howard Stern route. He doesn't believe in that route at all. He's like this. I watched him, nigga. They sent me a picture. I can show you. <laughs> I can show you the picture of my DM where they act like they got him. I said, I'd like to share this with you. I keep telling Flip as he searches for this picture. He don't know no girl that I don't know. He don't know no girl. Stop, that the, I don't stop know. doing that, nigga. I'm, I'm him. So some of these girls I've seen. Before they went to Columbia, after, when they got back, when the trend changed and they decided maybe they got more ass than they wanted, so let me shave some of the ass down. I've seen them. I've seen them all. I've seen them when the sh they got picked up a few more days at the bar. He didn't look. They sent me a screenshot. So I know the young lady. I know she's a treacherous thing behind that bar. So no. he went to the class. He didn't bro. Look. That's all it is. They the learn. Class I look. I put my head. I, I have my head. And then Joe hating on me. Oh, I, I wonder what the conversation gonna be like when you get home. Like, shut up. A married I man. I figured you out. You my man, so I can't say. But some fans, <laughs> redditors, and patronies have figured it out as well. Well, they did. So, say and I, I don't know. I'm, I wouldn't do that. What you gonna say? You don't don't attack me. I'm not gonna say it because it's gonna be bad. It's about bad. My, what I have to say about my family. Uh, I don't play family jokes. That's why he I wouldn't say nothing bad about your family. All right. Just talking about how you go about your content. How? I use my content. C O E. Yeah, but no, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't been C O E with nothing ugly yet. <laughs> so maybe that's a coincidence. I used to do that. Do what? Like, I, <laughs> I used to do it. So See, I pro understand. The, the, the problem is because you can't do it. I still do it today. Actually, because you can't do it. You don't do it anymore. You try to project. You can't project on me. These people I I'm know. I'm telling you that you ain't done content with nobody ugly yet. I did content with a lot of... Nobody's... Being ugly is subjective. Like, I, I don't diplomacy. find... I think, Everyone's beautiful yeah, their own I way. Diplomacy. I think everyone you is beautiful. You are beautiful you in every <laughs> single way. Yeah, sing. Words can't bring me down. That's a lie, too. All y'all out there this generation, words bring you down rather easily. <laughs> let me go over it. Quick. Let me go over yeah, it. Man, quick. Man, quick. quick. <laughs> What are you looking at? Are you shit. looking at the comments? I'm about to go look at Reddit. <laughs> I'm about to violate them niggas and block them niggas. That niggas talking about. They, they was like, yo, we, we see what you're doing, Flip. We like your style. Bring, I feel, bring I, a nice I, little something in for work. I think that, you know. It's, I just think for, that, it's for work. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It's for work. Freestyle and interview. So how does it feel doing whatever you do? <laughs> Oh, good. Tell us, tell us more. What was the lady? Pam, here's Red. Crackhead Gina. Here's, here's Chef Hutchinson. Back to you, little fine thing. <laughs> this nigga, you not low. And you. the best part about it? Yeah, it's a tax, it works. Tax writable. It works. <laughs> a lot of views. It works. I go over and just watch the views. Like, go ahead. Tax the deductible. The, the lady in red, what, what did she do for a living? Um, she works. That's hate. She, she, she does. She, <laughs> she, That's she, hate. She does music. Everything she works you at, wish you would have did she when works you was at a young, ball. little hot Yo. thing. Yo. Oh. <laughs> She's a, she, are they called bottle girls? No, it's a bottle girl. Are they called bottle girls still? I don't want to know. No, it's a bartender. A bartender. Thank you. Sorry. Why are you hating, Mel? <laughs> lady in red. Yo, you can't you can't hate on, and I'm done talking about no because we love her friend of the show. Yeah, we but do, we do. You can't hate on uh, women that are not missing their window of opportunity How? because you missed yours being oh, something. Oh, damn. Shit, damn. Nah, something. nah, don't talk that like that. She <laughs> says it all the time. Don't talk that like that. No. No, no, but no, she no, says no. it. No, 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 She no. comes in here to no. say, yo, Wait. I wish that I would have tooted this little ass up in the air back in the day. Yeah. A, a little bit more than I did. Yeah. A little bit more you than I did. say that? But however, wait. To the dead booty. To the dead booty. To the dead booty. To the dead booty. You guys are fucking Go children. Ahead. You're children. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, I'm please. surrounded by fucking infants. You are. Yes. I am. <laughs> Man, I'm a joke. I am. So it was just. If you want to text this, just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Wow, we infants today for some reason. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, not talking. Get this get, shit get, off, Mel. They get mad at us for not letting her finish. That's I, true. Listen. I'm team Mel, by the way. Me too. Oh, Same. <laughs> oh, shit. I had a really good time when I was a bartender and cocktail waitress. I, that's all I'm saying is I didn't, I had, I had my fun. I it's did. a different kind of fun, though. Yeah, what, they, now, they for, they between it, now and then? They don't call it cocktail wagers anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> little, little Miss Ma'am. <laughs> she was making Are you, some are you shit? talking about when you was a bartender? <laughs> bartender and cocktail waitress. Now that's just three different Bottle services. Girl. Yeah. Cock, 
Tail. Tail. Yeah. Waitress. <laughs> Do all three. Three and one. It's like the three and one body body wash. Body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, conditioner baby. baby. Which oh, one you want? How, how many years were you a, a, a bartender for, man? I was a bartender for... Uh, 40 days before a little ex and Hype Williams walked in. <laughs> Yo. No. no, I was still bartending when I was doing music videos. So I was a bartender from like 1998 until... Almost 2004. In what kind wow. of establishments? Where was you at in 98? <laughs> 98, I was, in, I was in junior high school. Diapers, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, you said what kind of establishments? Yeah. Um, huge clubs. Big uh, clubs. Popular, like so, the most popular clubs. So somebody, All right, little miss. So <laughs> yeah. Jim, somebody walked in and saw you and gave you your break? the most popular place. Like, is your story like that? Like somebody saw you at a bar and gave you your break? No. I got discovered... Through a photograph. Okay. Right. Yeah. Little X saw my picture and casted me, and then that was pretty much it. You shout him out? You still speak to him? Little X? Oh, sorry. Director X, Julian. Um, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, both shit. From, we're, no, we're, we're both from Toronto. Let's close out this first topic. Would you fuck a guy that got li liposuction or a BBL <laughs> or a dick enhancement? You got the silicone or meat. Or he got his thighs done. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. Oh, you would. You would. Shit. Yep. All of the above. Listen, I'm hard up at this point. Yes, yes. Bring it the fuck oh. on. <laughs> Man, what the fuck are you doing, you sick lady? This is not here. What Shit, you, at least he called me a fucking lady. <laughs> God damn. Mel, are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm not. She's lucky, she lucky that she became like a, a world-class broadcaster. I got it, everybody. Oh, shit. I could see her being one of the teachers that were fired for inappropriate, <laughs> Yo, inappropriate I'm it out, grading Box. of homework. What you got? When Ish is here, she keeps the, the, the cover, right? She keeps the... Professionalism. Now when that nigga not here, she just letting loose her real side. She said she's not okay. Oh, poet niggas winning. <laughs> she crying. Poet nigga winning. Her friend is here to came to console her. They about to go out somewhere. <laughs> Girl, I could pick you out at the work. Don't worry. All right. Listen. I like is that question. The family you create. I, I like that one. I could tell Mel wrote this. This is when she was trying to catch up because Ice had bodied the whiteboard already. Mm. So she was trying to fight back. Is the family you create more important than the family that you come from? That's a good fucking question. More important. So, Sometimes why y'all think y'all have the power to create family? You, you do. Wait, what? So here's the thing. Jokes, yeah. the, the clip that you opened um, the YouTube episode with was the uh, was a soundbite from Steve Harvey. Yeah. And that was essentially what he was saying. He was essentially talking about the environment. Oak trees. No, he was eventually <laughs> talking about the environment that you create and that you live in, and then he also talked about how family can be extremely toxic. Mm. Oh, I was playing it because I thought he was saying, "Get them bum ass niggas away from you and prosper." But that's <laughs> but it, essentially that's what he was saying, and that sometimes those bum ass niggas is your family, that's your real case. family. Sometimes they're the ones holding you back. So when y'all say the family you create, who are you referring to? Yeah, that's your network. Your network. Your, your, yeah, your people. Your network. Because you can create family no, like I, I, your I, offspring I, is. I, that's what I can. Creating I family. Was well, that I, too? Well, we, too. they wasn't talking about that. That's why I didn't. I, I can't make your family. It comes out your dick. But in this example. It's your chosen family. Oh, please. Your friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's your friends. Man, why please you stop. Just say that? Stop with these new age terms and shit. Your friends. No, because but, but I, I the thought family the, you decided you chose upon when you. There's levels to friends, though. Yeah. I mean, like, there's there's some people who are like your mentors okay. that kind of you're become like surrogate parents for very you. Very good friends. Your best friends. You're good friends. Yeah. You're very good friends. You're family mm -hmm. friends. Friends that are family ish. Yeah. yeah. Levels to family. And, and, sometimes, and sometimes that family is created because. You are missing certain members of your fa own family. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. I was comparing it in my mind, like, you know how you were raised. You don't want to teach the kids or make your kids go through what you went through as mm -hmm. a child. That's how I thought about it. I mean, that applies to I think. Yeah, it's more important, <coughs> and because obviously, you know, a lot of a lot of our mothers and grandmothers are would be critical of how we raise our children. Mm -hmm. So I may make my child say a certain thing that I wasn't able to say. And you hear your mother in the background like, hmm, and make all that noise. You let him talk to you like that and all that shit. Like, but what's more important? Important is I want my kids to feel comfortable with me than how I was with you. Do your parents wait, interject wait, in how wait. you guys raise your children? People do that. Um... No, not interject. Really. Not interject. Like offer, like they comment. Yeah, I had that. I had. I had, I had my mom comment on how my mom have said I was with things. my children. Mm -hmm. 
Like, oh, you can't let her do that. You got to da da da. And I'm like, mm-hmm. well, I'm going to do things a little differently See? than the way you did it. Give a, Yeah, give opinions on how you're that shit is real. Why raising is your kids. Critical opinions. Critical opinions. No, yeah. I'm just, because you 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 barked on us when, when me and Mel were talking <laughs> about, like, the child expressing themselves and you was like, no, nigga, that's I a concept, say, nigga. Like, come on, nigga. Like, come on, nigga. Damn. Fuck. That's, a concept. My daughter, nigga, I'm that's why that shit fucked me up. That's why it fucked me up. I'm sitting here like, shut up, nigga. Come on, nigga. I'm like, like, what that the fuck is you talking why about? Why you fucked up my shit? Fair, I'm not trying to fuck you. My parents are overly critical. They chime in when there's an area that I could, I could use some information, but mm. so that's they, how you they view it. They don't, they don't go crazy. No, nah, yeah, they, they don't go crazy. Mm. Raise my kids. Like my daughter because starts I'm crying. Clear, I'm with ice. Like how I raise my kids is not going to be how you raise me at all. True. It's not. It's not the same. It's not I'm old same enough. Pamphlet. I'm old enough to look back and see what at least to at least to me was the good and the bad in that. But sometimes so I, I can pam- I can pull sorry, what I need to pull from that, and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Do it my way with my daughter. Mm-hmm. Like, my daughter will start crying. I'm going to go see, baby, what's wrong? My mom will tell me, don't run to her every time she cries. That's that old school shit. Yeah, that's true. Like, no, oh, let her cry it out. Let her. Do, uh, well, okay, that might be how you would have done it. Mm. But I'm going to go see what's wrong. I also talk to her a lot. It's a lot of talking. It's a lot of... I, my mom used to... Our, my brother Ars was on here and told y'all. My, my mom, well, he caught it on the physical side because he was just bad. But we got yelled at a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't raise my voice at her unless it's absolutely, I, I will never yell at her. I may raise my voice just to let her know I'm serious and I'm not playing, but my daughter is very sensitive. So when I raise my voice, her reaction to that, it shows that it really hurts her feelings to hear me go up a certain level. I now have a conversation with her about that rather than just talk at her. Mm. I'm trying to, Hey, look, daddy did this because this, you got to listen. You got to do that. Okay. Let's hug it out. Like those type of things that I didn't get. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah, my mom would tell me uh, she'll go crazy if Lex just start running back and forth <laughs> across the 20 feet, 20 feet, uh, 23 foot couch. <laughs> get him down, get him down, get him down. No, <laughs> I don't want to get him down. And then she says, well, what if he falls? Then he falls. But so, <laughs> then he'll learn something. Sometimes I think you have to give young boys the freedom to be young boys. Like man it's man very is. different than young girls. Boys are gonna do stupid boy shit like run back and forth and jump and bang their head and just some stupid shit. I wish I would have saved this clip. I saw a clip early in the week of a guy. He started his hot take was disrespecting your parents is one of the greatest things that a child can do growing up. And he caught my interest. That used to be the shit though. And in, in his explanation, which I'm about to totally butcher, he says, Growing up in the world, you want a kid that question something if it sounds funny you want a kid that does not just go by the law of the land you want a kid that is exercising their critical brain, thinking their mm-hmm. brain yeah. mm-hmm. so if in the house you say something hey don't do this and it sounds funny to the child or the child wants to explore outside of that like that's the thinking and conditioning that they're going to need when they are older not uh, not the kid that is just doing exactly what their parent says to a T. He said it much better than I, but it was a pretty interesting point. I said, that's why I was like that. <laughs> I had to explore. <laughs> yeah. A, a lot of times our parents be right, though. They do. It should be, it's, it's, very, it's very tricky. Yeah. So if they, they may say, well, don't let them do this. If you do this, something's going to happen. And then sometimes, uh, seven out of ten, it'll happen. Your, your mother was right. For sure. But then it's like, can you avoid these things? One thing I've learned recently is that you cannot save your children from life mm. or protect your children from life. I forgot, but somebody told me some shit like that. And you know, no matter how much you try to shield them. shield them, yes, life will hit them. And they'll have to go through what they got to go through. That thought, I have, a, I have a really warped, paranoid thought that I don't share, but I'll share it off the heels of your sentence. Sure. I sometimes think when I'm alone that whatever you felt you were not prepared to go through as a person is what your kid better be strong enough to go through. Mm. Like, Mm. I have been blessed to be this age with both parents 
and dread the day that I would have to live without one of them. Anyone, pick one. But boy, that day is scary. But I can't imagine my child growing up and being in that. It's like my worst nightmare for me. I feel like your child needs to be strong enough to endure somehow because he's going to go through it. Like whatever your parents was beefing about and whatever you and your baby moms was beefing about, it's just about to be like a world of difference. Like I used to ask my, my mom if I could have a pet. Can I have a dog? Can I have a cat growing up? Can I have? And she would say, no, nigga, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the other day I'm dropping my son off and his mom opens the door and she's holding a blanket and I'm walking, so I'm from a distance. And I say, oh, you got the baby, you got your niece, and I'm getting closer and closer, and I, it's not a baby. It's not a baby, and the baby, in the pink, in a pink baby blanket, it, it's, it's a puppy. It's a chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <clears throat> like a baby what? chicken? Oh, you gotta watch. <laughs> Do y'all not understand <laughs> I'm not understanding. Y'all not feeling me, yo. No, <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams, but this is to my point. Never in my wildest dreams do I think that this is a conversation that you ever got to have at some point. But <laughs> you got chicken. Chicken this big. Two weeks old. Little brown. <laughs> little brown chicken. So I say... Yo, nigga, you holding a fuck. Yo, why do you have a chicken in your house? You know black people now. Black a chicken? It's germed and fucking... What the fuck you got... What type of shit you got going on here? She calmly as ever says, yeah, I have three. Uh-huh. I say, excuse me? So yeah, I have three. I feed them. I get eggs and... I said, Cynthia, where did you get chickens? I said, the neighbor. <laughs> she pointed. Like I could see them. <clears throat> I said, the neighbor? The neighbor has 30 chickens. Oh, shit. And he gave me three of them. She's ecstatic. Because <laughs> she doesn't have to pay for fucking eggs anymore. I mean, no, that's one way at, to get around at this that. point, I'm so in the matrix and you so calm that now I start petting the nigga. Now I care about him. <laughs> well, oh, 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 what a cutie. <laughs> She's kissing this little nigga. <laughs> My son is petting him. Hey, it's Becky, whatever the fuck the name is. <laughs> Becky's so a good now I'm sitting name. there stuck in real life staring at somebody. And the voices pop up. <laughs> just be supportive. Just be supportive. Just be supportive. <laughs> Yo, just be supportive. Tell her it's fly. Tell her it's fly. Tell her it's cool. Chickens are beautiful. <laughs> Ask you why the fuck she got chickens in the fucking house. It's a fucking, it's a fucking, why the fuck do you have chickens? So somehow by the time both of those thoughts got crumbled in my brain, the only thing I could think to say was, you know it's a chicken shortage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know people, you know. <laughs> nah, this is crazy. So, does she have like a little chicken coop? I said, "What you gonna do when they get old?" She said, "She points to the yard. Oh, there's a lion right there." Oh shit! I said, "But you gonna have adult chickens running around your yard in the winter?" Oh, she said, "They only get but so big." So. Patronis out there, and happy Monday to you. This is being released on a Monday. When I was a small child, I begged my mom for a tadpole. (laughs) 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 Don't laugh at me, Double Day Deborah. You never had like a, you ever had pets? I had turtles. My mom got me a tadpole. I was too small. And this is before the world knew how clumsy I was. Oh. The tadpole came in a little Ziploc, a little plastic bag. They said, here, take them home. All right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> I took them home. I put them upstairs in a little thing of majiggy in the bathroom. I was feeding that nigga. I was feeding him a lot, too. Got big. Like the tadpole, fo- the tadpole food looked like he needed more of the little crumbs. It wasn't enough. In there. I mean, that's what I thought. Yeah. Anyway, long story less long. I killed that tadpole. <laughs> Rest in peace. That tadpole was dead than a motherfucker. How long? And how long? Huh? How long? Oh, that nigga was sitting there for a little bit. No, I mean, how long from when you took it home until you killed him? Oh, no, I, I had him for a, a couple months. Oh, I had wow. him for a couple months, okay. but eventually he died. Ronald Isley float on in the background. Float on! 
Float on, float on. And much to your surprise, I never got another tadpole. <laughs> So I say that to say I don't fuck with, don't fuck with pets, Somewhere though. around Thanksgiving I'm betting That dumb chicken Is gonna be dead Than a motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> Fucking with Cynthia Santana They got Or escaped How did you the, Oh up. shit wait They're gonna be wait. in the Neighborhood somewhere Wait Nobody's life Is more interesting Than mine I thought that was The end of it I pet the little chicken Nigga <laughs> <laughs> I pet the little chicken nigga on top of the head. He was cute. By then, the nigga started liking me. He talking about like, <laughs> <laughs> and I turn around and I think I'm going in my car to enjoy the rest of my night at the hookah spot. And she says her famous line: "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> one more thing." <laughs> Yo, when baby mom play one more thing, so I turn around because you want to be the most attentive baby yeah, yeah, father yeah, yeah, that you yeah. can. Have. Anything you need? What's up? <laughs> but y'all baby moms ain't my baby mom. She wanted you to get some chicken food. She says, "You're cool with Nikki, right?" Huh? I was mad, Nikki's. <laughs> and Nikki Minaj. Yes. You just go. All right. I need a verse from her. <laughs> <Yo! laughs> <laughs> that's it, nigga. <laughs> no, 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 that ain't that ain't my thoughts, right? That's it. Oh, I know your thoughts. I want to know what you said, though. Oh, come, you know what I said. <laughs> I know you. you know I know I your thoughts. You know what I said. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am cool with Dicky. And let me get hit her and reach out. It's probably called a Fendi or somebody. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We see yeah, if we can get yeah. this done. I'll let you out here call you. <laughs> never mind. Because <laughs> I'll fuck you up, man. You better stop. I, I said never mind. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued? Oh, no. JBP, JBP, where would you oh, be shit. without the JBP? What's been going on in you guys' lives? <laughs> Nothing nearly that good. Anything fun? Nothing oh, nearly that good. Shit, huh? yo. Any stops to KFC? Popeyes? <laughs> <laughs> yo, you, you, you live a yo, life, bro. all y'all little Instagram health pages that's trying to get me to live a better life and not eat fast food. I don't care if there's rats in the Popeyes, yo. <laughs> yeah, y'all gotta stop that. I'm not gonna really stop pop- eating Popeyes. Some, some good rats. Yeah, fry that gonna, little nigga up. I won't stop eating Chinese Extra food. Extra flour, you lemon pepper, Lowry's. You think I care what's in Popeyes? Yeah. I eat well. Chinese food from the hood. Same. I pull up to McDonald's waiting to get the rat in the Big Mac, nigga. That's my life changer. <laughs> Word. Golden ticket. Life changer. Yeah, I'm out of here. We out of here. Ooh, it's disgusting. Yeah, I'm, I'm traumatized for life. I'm gonna need <laughs> yeah, yeah. financial compensation for that. The fuck you talking about? I pull up to the window singing the big the, the McDonald's on Big Mac and DLT a quarter pounder with some cheaper lay up picture. Give me the some shit. <laughs> All right, what's up? Chilling, man. <clears throat> Chilling. <laughs> I said all that shit. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> oh, you said a lot, nigga. You said your baby mother got a three pet chickens. We roasted <laughs> Melissa. I, I, I don't. I don't get it. I we roasted you. me. Have we roasted you at all? Not today. I ain't get roasted yet. No roasting nobody. We just can't roast Parks too much. We should have come out fucked up. We can't do that. <laughs> Play the whole podcast. Back. Word, this word. is why I be needing ish here. Because when roast all me. else fails, I, I just roast. I just go to roast. I, just, I ain't even roasted. So look at you, old up. as hell, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> and you get and you get started. He started saying, "What's going on?" Yeah. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are y'all laughing about? You yeah, know, it's true. Shout out to all ish. right, let's see. So we uncovered uh, niggas getting lipo. Y'all, none of y'all answered the family, <laughs> the family friendship at all. No, nobody answered that. Nobody answers. Is the why. family you create more important than the Who are y'all closer to? Your family or your friends? Family. Come on, y'all wrote it up family. there. Don't run from family. it now. Mel wrote that shit and she ain't answering it. She be writing this fucking Canadian shit. It depends shit on which areas. I'm closer well, to my family. Well, Mel's situation may be a little different. Thank you. It is. A yeah, little bit. She explained just, the situation with family. Yeah. Just a little bit different. Yeah. Again. Well, it's my friend. All right. Paul, do, do flip it. Put the fun vacuum back in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put the vacuum back? <laughs> flip took about the vacuum, start sucking up the fun we were having. <laughs> But it's fine. <laughs> Sorry. 
Stop tag teaming on her, bro. Yo, you go, you read the comments and come back a whole new nigga. Shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> T, uh, is the family Tennessee created rep- more important? Yes. Tennessee is. representatives expelled for protesting with students uh, for gun chains, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I didn't the, know you could do that. Uh, I don't know if they could. Yeah. They just did it. They just did it. Are you just gonna well, there was a white lady that did it too, and she didn't get expelled. No, so there was three. There were three general assembly members. Two of them were black men. One of them was a white woman. The mm-hmm. two black men are the ones that get it, got expelled. Mm-hmm. They kept her, but she's gone on record to say that it's clearly the reason that she was kept is because of the color of her skin. Well, it's Tennessee. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Who shocked? Nobody. Least of all her. I just didn't know you could just expel. Um, representatives like alright yo y'all are out y'all, y'all did something we don't like and it's over I thought there had to be a process or something for that no uh, everything to everything leads towards what you're saying yeah that there is supposed to be a process and that this they is they said fuck it yeah that they said fuck it absolutely let's get him out of here the speeches were pretty epic though I don't know if y'all heard any of them mm-hmm. he was killing it saying yo this this guy over here is accused of sleeping with children. This guy over here is a sex offender. This guy over here pissed on someone's seat, and they're all still here, not getting expelled. How come you're expelling us? Oh, you snitching? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. That is snitching. Okay. He's right, though. So there's a time when snitching is acceptable. Yeah. Flip? No. <laughs> so you disagree with the gentleman up there saying that he did this, he did this, he did this, he did this. There are times where snitching is acceptable, and all black people realize that when the clubs in New York said no fitteds allowed. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> Snitch Yo, fat. you let that nigga in right Snitch there. Fat. Yo, I never did that, though. Yo, look, look. I, I three fitteds. Yo, you know what was the most disrespectful shit about that? <laughs> Yo, put your shit in the fitted bin. In the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, box. Put your shit in the bin right here. The box. fitted box was crazy. Box in the box, yeah. Put it in there. Your shit in there with lighters, cocaine, Word. whatever they couldn't in the come in with. Uh-uh. And when the club was over, <laughs> your shit was, your shit was gone. gone. Was what? I went back to check, though. It was my shit at. <laughs> your shit ain't there. Stepped on it. <laughs> burnt it. Shit was a mess. Now, the dude with the fucking nasty uh, Reds hat swapped him out real quick. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I shopping. can't complain. I did that a few times, too. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga had the same hat. His was a little fresher. Same size. Seven and three-fourths. <laughs> yep. That's the one. <laughs> nah, that's foul. That shit in the car, man. Mm. Or just pay the, pay, the, pay the, you know, pay the tab. Here's my other topic that I got for y'all that I can't even get into because Flip stole it on his Wednesday show like two weeks ago. I'm going to stop talking about you too. <laughs> stop stealing all my shit and coming to the air. Chill out with the view baby shit. Yeah. You a view baby. No, you are. That's my stop line. It. That's my line. I'm not fighting with you over some shit I came up with. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> damn, what, what was I starting the with? The toilet this? tissue. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Flip strikes again. <laughs> what up, what up? Stop, yo. Stop. All right, all right. I'm number one. Let me be number one. Oh, yeah. Stop. I just helped you, nigga. No, but don't help number one. Help me in private. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. The toilet tissue shit. Nah, then I noticed it this morning when I <laughs> when I took the fucking extended shit. I'm sitting there just looking around and shit. It's definitely the toilet paper companies are cutting four inches off the toilet paper. <laughs> no, for real. He figured that shit out. We don't use toilet paper. Use wipes. Yeah. Oh. We don't use tissue, nigga. Y'all don't use tissue and wipes. Use wipes. Oh, y'all don't use tissue at all. No. Oh yeah, that's a ju- you got that wet wet. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> see? stop. See you, man. See, that's the shit, man. That's the shit I be talking about. Don't touch that, don't touch that, nigga. You got that wet wet. That's the shit I be talking about. Self cleaning. Yo, 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 you got the wetty. <laughs> nah, your shit that's nice why, and juicy. That's why they gonna be, uh, <laughs> be in the DMs again, nigga. You supposed to take the toilet tissue and dry off after you fucking wet it up back there. Soak your ass, ass, nigga. You don't gotta soak your ass when you you walking around. Yo, what is going you walk on? around with a wet Gucci. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. A wet Gucci. Nah, I'm out. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. Do you hear this nigga? But anyway, yes, yeah, they're cutting some of the toilet tissue off of the roll in efforts to save money. How did you discover this? 
because the roll that we normally purchase from Amazon is now it don't fit in my fucking placeholder. So, of course, my mom <laughs> measured it and went to check to see if this was the same brand. And it's the same one. It just is a little extra room on the side now, which is genius. So I ain't mad at it. No, nah, that's a slick little. It, that's slick. No one's going to notice the wide way. At all. At all. Who the fuck is measuring the toilet paper? Nobody. Except for the Patronis now that I brought this to your oh, attention. Oh, so you wait, wait. You said they cut the off the side. The with? Cut yes. the off the side. Oh, sh- I thought you meant they just put a little less on the roll. No, nah, they nah, cutting nah. with. They shrunk oh, the they roll. Shrunk the t- oh, that, that's fucked up. Yeah. Genius. What fuck up? It's genius. Nah, it's it genius. is genius. That's genius. What is genius about it? You save it. Because no one's going to notice. Who going to. And <laughs> niggas going to keep buying the toilet paper. Well, yeah. That Facts. Part. Paying the same price, getting the don't lesser let, don't, amount. Don't let, it, don't let another said, pandemic said, hit. I said that on my show, but I just wanted him to get his shit off. If the pandemic happened Ba-doom. again, I'm going to hit somebody with a car. <laughs> Y'all was protesting on main streets that y'all should the 34, 57. <laughs> y'all, y'all better move. <laughs> we was coming from Queens. Them niggas talking about, hell no, fuck. We had to bust the U. <laughs> we trying to go home. We had to bust the U. Hey, one hey, time, Corey got out to walk up to he go did. see. Let's see how that much was left. around like. <laughs> y'all turn around. <laughs> no more. Them niggas all the way down no the more. street. Yeah, yeah. Them niggas is up to 169th. <laughs> I don't know. Fight, dog. <laughs> Hell, nobody ate them niggas more than the nigga in his car they with got somewhere, somewhere to go. go. Word. That's why I like my little accused show. Accused, that's what happened. Yo, is that back? Ooh. Accused is out. No, I know, but it, it stopped after a couple episodes. Like, oh, well, oh no, no, no. It's loaded up. It's okay, back. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the last one, they had the white nationalists. No, I'm, no, no. I'm, they had, wait, no, no, I'm not there. They had I, ain't there. I ain't there. Hell oh, no, we was not that. They had a black and a white girl kissing. The white nationalist was in the car. So like, mm. <laughs> 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 it's not funny, but it's they funny. showed it on the show. <laughs> they showed his foot. <laughs> Kiss I think it was like a Dodge Charger. Kiss him again. <laughs> oh, the said, Hemi? Mer, flip the nigga. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talking about the shit in, um, damn, where was that? Where they had the tiki torches that and shit. Charleston. Charleston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm talking about on the show, accused. But that no, happened for real, though. Char- 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 Charlottesville. Well, Charlottesville. Char- everything Char- they Char- take Char- is from something that. Yeah, that happened for real. Really happened. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know about the if it was an interracial couple kissing that caused it. But he, he took off, though. Yeah, he did. He ran yeah, right um, in the crowd. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, what happened? I just checked the tweet, and a woman found uh, former NBA player Delonte West dancing in front of a 7 Eleven. Yo, you just scared the shit out of me. Please yeah, don't, yeah, 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 don't say well, foul don't do that like again, that. Don't ever say foul like that. Yeah, a woman Especially found talking about him. Delonte like, West that's what it says. dancing at 7 Eleven. That's not how you announce that. She she was, that's what they were having a good time. I don't yeah, what you know. Cox sources said. <laughs> it's, not, it's daily loud. Same shit. No, it's not. No, no. They nah, should be. You don't understand, like the tone, the tonality. I got it. Found. No, found. 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 Issue. Especially with he with wasn't his... found. Nigga was busting a move outside he's of 7-Eleven. Usually, <laughs> yeah. when mind his business. I do that shit all the time. You dance outside 7-Eleven. Yes. <laughs> you gonna get robbed? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I didn't. I well, like then that. why are you doing it? Yeah. Please. Yeah, cut that, cut that, man. Please. She's please. like, I don't, I don't believe, believe in recording, recording people, people but... While, while, while recording somebody. Yeah. People Good. doing that, people recording them, feeding the homeless, I don't... That's going to die soon, that whole... It is. They're going to make a, a law for that. Yeah, a law is going to happen to change that, because it's just too much going on. Pack that right in with the AI laws. Seeing a dude um doing a, a skit on somebody and got shot. That's gonna start happening a lot more too. Yeah. Trying to pull one of them little pranks on somebody, and and dude ain't know it was a prank, and backed out, and popped his ass. And there's gonna be some uh, some of them cases. The, the the shooter is gonna get away with that shit because they're gonna be like, you Flip, violate. were you ever afraid of people's reactions when you were? No, you were never afraid. He's not gonna admit was... it. I wasn't. Mm. Well, him being afraid didn't have nothing to do with nothing. They still lined his jaw, shot him in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Those, he didn't, me, he didn't have to be scared about it. Me getting my jaw like, He was bro- bold getting me his getting jaw shot, like, my jaw broken, all that stuff happened before. They ran out the Crips? Before, never. All right, me, that's respect. Before <laughs> I, I was doing skits. That's, no. right, that's respect. I mean, all right. Nigga, don't, don't comment on my <laughs> shit and then talk. <laughs> A lot of times you think, but you just got to go head on, pause. No, you have don't. To. I did. Yeah, but you're right. You're right. But to say you have to go head on, that was a choice. It was. That's all I'm saying. It was a choice. 
You like you said, you thought about it. This could go left, but I'm gonna do it. Coe. They could say everything, but I made some bad choices. I did. <laughs> I did make some, like I fought. But the choices pe- got them the way yet. I, fought, really I fought people back that were mad that I pranked them. But look, That's hold up. Ridiculous. Are the choices really bad if they got him to where he's at? That's what I feel bad about. I can't necessarily say he made bad choices. Wait, so you would do a prank, they would fight you, and you would fight back? I would get mad, yeah. Like, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. It was dumb. After you scared the shit out of him in the Uber. Yeah. I no. want to do a pod where I just have a bucket of, like, water balloons next to me. <laughs> you won't do that. <laughs> I want to, though. So That's a it. dream of mine. Anytime y'all get into y'all cl- cl- cliche back, well, I just think that I'm having a bad, it's the best way to... <laughs> <laughs> You should do it when it get hot. That'd be fire. No fucking won't. Wait, what I just said? What you just said? Nothing. Wait, tell me what I just said. I ain't said a word. Say it, guys. What he nah, said? You said you made a bunch of bad choices. I said, are they really? Because all we are is some of the shit we've been through. So are they bad choices if they got you the way you at? <laughs> he said he wanna throw a water balloon. I'm gonna come over there and grab the whole bucket of water balloon. Water balloons there would be crazy. No, it won't. We just can't throw it that way. No, it won't. <laughs> don't throw the water balloon at me. Don't get too fly for us to throw a water balloon at me. Don't Look, do that. You're too fly now. Don't can't do that. You're, can't even play with the niggas. European sock man, don't do that. Look, huh? It's your lit. It's your lit. What's lit? No, you good. We good. Yeah, you good. Son. What else we got going on nothing over else. there? There's nothing uh, else. There's nothing else. Anybody ready for that? Nah, we got, we got, we got guests in the building. Let's man. see. We ain't said nothing. Say something, nigga. Well, we ain't took a break to Simba, introduce what's up, man? We, out, we in, outside bro? tonight. We outside, we outside tonight. We outside, Tadpole Timmy. All right. All right. <laughs> we, we outside. That's that's it. She not working tonight. So who you looking for? All right, my man. She said, hey. Hey. <laughs> I know where to find her. Fire. Oh, Whole man. Whole different stance from before. Last man. night. Listen, I'm, re- I'm retired. Well, no, I had too much fun. <laughs> Simba hit me Thursday. Simba hit me Thursday. I went out Wednesday. All the evidence in my phone, but I didn't post nothing. This bitch should be nosy. But Simba hit me Thursday talking about, yo, I'm in town for a few days. Let's go out. And I said, dog, I almost died last night. Went a little too hard. I'm going to have to stay in the night. But apparently, is back working the scene. I don't know if something must have happened between really? her and the dude that it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something must have happened. She back in the scene. And, uh, <laughs> got to, I'm going to say that. She's back? <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, hey. She, she got a passport back? She got a couple of dollars coming from me. I'm going to do it. Stop. <laughs> you better check. I'm going to do it. No, you got to stop. Don't do it. Chill. I don't know. Oh, you know what's crazy? Doing. No, no, no. You can do it. I don't know what I'm doing. I, was, I got money in my head and I'm riding in a drop, drop, drop. drop. I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay. I thought you were still with somebody else. That's why my fault. Just my mind. But yeah, do your thing, my nigga. Do your thing, my nigga. <laughs> you fucked me up with that one too. Like, what are you doing? I said, no, th- no money on it, but I just I put it all together. My fault. I, I can't you. throw money on. I forgot you in a whole new situation. I just forgot completely. Like I was on some past shit. It's a love and hip hop past shit. That's why I was on some stupid old school shit. I'll tell you what. What, I was the, what, what do my love and hip hop history have to do with Aisha Diaz? I'm saying that. <clears throat> One of your counterparts may have not been so happy if you threw money on her, but I forgot that you're not in the situation with said person anymore. Just telling you. Do you have more on the list of things that would make <laughs> people from my past unhappy? Because I'll execute the whole list. No, execute it. I'm I'll, with you, I'll nigga. Throw done. money. I fuck with her. Throw it. Yeah. I'm throwing money on her. Yeah. I forgot. Like, nigga, there's no girl that I know that Man. you don't know. She went and got a couple more rounds. Huh? <laughs> oh, my God. What the yo. fuck these niggas talking about? Say, what's up, man? Sit down. She got a couple dollars. You looking dollars. good. You looking good. Oh, those them yeah, jeans that I be seeing the rich niggas wear. Cool, man. Those them jeans I be seeing the rich niggas wear. What's that? <laughs> nah, you back looking like more money than last time you was here. I'm getting a lot those more than chrome the last hearts? time I see you. I don't have chrome heart jeans. These ain't chrome me. heart. What are those? It's actually a black designer out of New York. His name Godspeed. Uh, Rock on my God! I did a black show designers. last night in uh, okay, West Bear. Clap it up for yeah, yeah. Fuck with clap it up for black designers stealing from Chrome Hearts. I've been highlighting black businesses on my Instagram, so he pulled up on me last night at my show in uh, Westbury, and he uh, he blessed me. So I had to make sure I bless him. Tell tell us what you're doing back what you're doing back in New York, my brother. What you doing out here? Apartment shopping. Woo! 
You heard him, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he need, he need a couple of. Let me hit the round of applause. Yeah, we out here, out here. Me and my brother out here. We moving around, seeing what's good. We had a few shows out here as well. Uh, me and Nick Cannon got a thing going on right now. We've been going through different cities, um, highlighting young up and coming artists. So, um, you know, like I told you last time, I've been thinking about making that move. And I've mm. been applying a lot of things we talked about last time. Mm. And I think it's about that time for me to be on this side this summer. This summer. You know what he doing? New York in the summer. This summer. You know what he doing? He going to dike me? This summer. We going to turn up this get summer. Get the fuck out of here. He <laughs> got a taste of that New York and said, nah. Now, so now, where are some of the places you're looking for? Uh, in the Bronx, maybe? Uh, Westchester? <laughs> no way, Chuck. Long Island? Yonkers? I'm going straight to Tribeca. I can't do the Bronx. I love the Bronx, though, but I'm not from here. And as a California person, you don't want to adopt other people's politics. So I stay out the way of it. I'm going to be right, I'm gonna be right in Manhattan, chilling, oh. making music, coming to fuck with you over here make, in Edgewood. Make, making music, <laughs> making music. What's happening with the music? Man, it's cool. Um, you know, rap is in an interesting space right now. Um, traditional rap. Right, as far as being a lyricist. And um, one thing that I've kind of figured out for myself is that um, it's more about building a community than it is about having a hit record. So something we've been applying is like putting the music next to content that makes sense to move the, the user or the, the fan over to streaming and becoming an audience to where we can sell them a hard ticket. So through content, we've been doing a lot of different things of just like looking at our content as hit records rather than focusing on trying to make a hit record. Mm. That's smart. And that's where we've been at. So a lot of my freestyles go viral. So what we've started doing is taking the music that I make and creating content around those verses and pushing those forward and attaching the song right next to it so people can find the song while the video go viral. Have you been seeing a difference in motion doing things that way? Way different. Way different. I'm actually seeing like who my fan is. Mm. So I know the content I need to create for him and the type of music I need to create for him. For a minute, I was kind of lost a little bit and didn't really know what it was. I just knew people fucked with me, but now I know why they fuck with me. Mm. Got it. So I can continue to give that to him every day. <laughs> you went on a, uh, you went on a tear uh, since you left here. Like I just started seeing you everywhere with everybody yeah. mm -hmm. and it all looked like organic it's all organic it looked i'm like, signed oh this nigga simba's at a basketball game but, with but it's all organic mark price this nigga <laughs> that, like just everywhere with somebody doing some shit and oh now it was you and draymond you was at the yeah. warriors game yeah that's yeah, my I was, guy I was, I, was I was hating that's my guy <laughs> <laughs> i was hating i was home like damn man this, this, this shit look fun nah it's dope bro um i actually just did a partnership with espn and the nba um, where I'm curating the music for all the commercials. So you cut on ESPN right now, you'll hear a song called Outrageous that uh, was curated by me and Raven Tyler and Jada Great. And um, the play-in tournament starts April 12th, and we have all the commercials for the play-in tournament. So mm. that's kind of been another focus of mine, is like how can I put my music on other platforms mm. than streaming? Mm. Because streaming is a difficult process to climb through. There's so much shit on there. It's like how do you find something new that you actually like? So I've been finding ways to go link with different brands and different companies and put my music on those platforms. Yeah, but I didn't ask you about none of that. <laughs> That's fire, though. That he said fire. the NBA, All so I was letting was you that, know, I, man. I said I was hating on you and Draymond. That <laughs> yeah, nigga yeah, more shit went right on. in the pitch. Yeah, well, I started this new foundation. Like, nah, 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 it ain't a foundation. Listen, listen. listen. Bunch of hateable shit. Have your strip club... Ethics uh -oh. changed a lot. since last time I saw you. Because I'll be honest, man, that wasn't fun that first time. See, I'm with, from the with, Bay, with Joe. me going in there and pretending to be Trick Daddy, and you sitting there giving me the screw face, calling me a sucker duck ass nigga, tapping the edge. Look at this bum ass, <laughs> bam ass nigga. Like for me, that wasn't the funnest. Yeah. So I felt good the next night when you was tossing money with me. Uh, tippy toeing to reach over the bar, yeah. like doing all. I like that. Yeah. So now, what Simba are we getting tonight when we step out? We they, they're gonna it be up in there tonight, tonight, champ. 
They we gonna, gonna be fuck in it up tonight. tonight, champ. We gonna make a mess. Now I did some of that Wednesday, so if I do it tonight, then I have to sit down till June. <laughs> <laughs> well, get ready to sit down till June. Nah, I went so crazy the other night. Nigga just handed me a free bottle. Like, nah, you've really been showing up. <laughs> you've really been showing up. I was like, fuck. I've developed. I've developed a lot of. Uh, Understanding about the strip club than I had the last time I saw you. But where'd you get it from? Seeing more, traveling, being around different things. I'll be in Atlanta now, like mm. ATL Jacob, that's my homie. He only want to go eat at the strip club. ATL Jacob, ATL you know what I mean? Jacob. Like, so See, that was our shit. Yeah. We would go to the strip club just to eat. See, we don't have that in California. Mm -mm. We Y'all don't have food in California. Yeah, yeah. we don't have shit because yeah, California is a taco place. taco trucks. California yeah, is a place. In and out. Let me not say California. Hollywood LA. is a place mm -hmm. where everybody come to chase their dreams. So you get all these different ethnicities, right? You get Asian people, Mexican people, black people, white people, Korean, all, all kind of shit, right? Mm -hmm. So they got to cater to that. So we got a limited amount of black people. So the further we get over here, you see more culture. Over there is catering to everybody to please everybody that's there. So the strip club, you can't have alcohol and mm -hmm. nudity in the same place. Yeah. You can't have hookah and alcohol in the same place. Mm -hmm. You can't have food in the strip club. So mm -hmm. it's it's a fucked up culture strip for us. Strip clubs so kind of do be trash over there. I'm not it's lie. terrible. Yeah. The girls are beautiful. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. But of course. the 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 environment makes you not want to spend any money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when I come over here, it's like I get it. Like this is this shit is lit. Like it's a it's the place to be. Over there, it ain't that, and we grow up like that. Mm. And then when you got to the south and saw that, oh like, shit, whole different world, whole different world. Get to the then south. Then you start like, hanging oh, with them and start shit. developing sympathy for them. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. Let's talk Jesus about it, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no sympathy, not empathy. You know sympathy. Word I know the definition between the two. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah, you start developing sympathy for him because it's like you watching this young girl basically like chase her dreams and do everything <laughs> she want to do. And she's found a way to get to the money to go continue to do that. But most of us look at it like we wouldn't want our woman to do that. So we kind of look down on it. But it's like, nah, it's like she doing what she's supposed to do. Now speak for yourself, nigga. <laughs> my mom's was working in there. She, she, she making more money than my mixtape money. <laughs> 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 she was doing so well. I had to shut the fuck up sometimes. Hey, why you got two phones? So my niggas could call me. Shut the fuck up, broke ass. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. All right. I see, guess it's cool. See, in the Bay, we would control the phone. That okay. sounds like pimping. That's the culture yeah. we come from. Mm -hmm. So that's why that it was hard. Yeah. That's, the, that's why it was hard for me to throw money. Cheated and that. Yeah, that's the culture. Pimping. That's, Come on, don't start with these internet cliches. It's wrong to pimp. I'm we know. Just, how do you how do you feel about pimping, Mel? It ain't easy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you that one. Yeah, let's hear it. It ain't easy, I'm sure. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Managing. Oh my God. No, you know what? Here's the thing: is like whenever Ish is gone, and then everybody just runs amok. I fall victim to it. I was about to say some fucked up shit. I can't do it. Managing what? Say it. It's yeah, come just, on. It's, Nobody even brought Ish up. It's, he was on a mind with his girl chilling. Stop. Oh, <laughs> do you do you that miss was Ish? Crazy. <laughs> that nigga's with his family. Like what? Stop. Whoa. <laughs> Simba, it's nice to meet you. It's like, great what to meet the you as well. Fuck. <laughs> Stop with the red people saying I'm hating. I'm shutting up. I'm shutting up. I'm shutting up. But, but um, I'm, I'm serious. How do you feel as a woman about pimps? Oh shit! What? <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, fuck. Shit. Um. I think that if a woman is going to participate in sex work, I think that she should be able to control her income. And not have somebody control it for her? If if that is what she wants, if she wants somebody to control her, you know, the the the, the so interactions and the money and shit like that, if that's what she wants, you, then you, by you, all so means. So you agree with pimping? <laughs> you, you agree that some women need I, you, you agree with that some women need whatever the women some women need a man to help manage their money I, don't, I said whatever a woman decides that's, with, it, that's not the I answer to what, all women questions yeah. by the way I, do you agree with pimping whatever she wants <laughs> whatever me, she wants I'm pimping <laughs> no flavor I think it's more about 
women wanting to feel secure than it is about control. I ain't going with this shit, man. Come on, chill out. Uh oh, break it down. Break it down for I'm not saying I'm a pimp. Break it down for I grew up around pimps, but what I've noticed. <laughs> sounds like it. No, I've, oh, I've never. And I mean that in a good way. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 I've never been a pimp. I grew up around pimps. A lot of my uncles was pimps. <laughs> Um, but what I've noticed growing up around it is it more so comes from a place of them looking for security mm -hmm. than it is control. What ends up happening is the man ends up taking control mm -hmm. and he abuses that control and mm -hmm. abuses his authority. And then it becomes a toxic environment for everybody to kind of, that's involved. I think it's safe to say that most women do not grow up saying, hey, I want to be a hoe. I agree. You know what I mean? Usually there's something that's happened transpired in their life that led them down that road. For sure. You know? And it's fair to say that a lot of women were lacking maybe something in their life that had that sense, that offered them that sense of security. But what about the women that wasn't lacking a certain Talk thing? I can't, I definitely can't yeah, speak, yeah. I can't speak to them because I've What about them. the women that just needed a little guidance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the ones that just needed a little guidance? Like, they was just out there and not really moving correctly. I, I, I needed will, somebody I to steer them. I will not them. claim to be the expert in any way, shape, or form on this particular <laughs> subject. I have no fucking clue. Listen, I'm from Canada, okay? I don't know shit. Y'all don't have pimps in Canada? <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of pimps oh, I in Canada. I don't know. Okay. It's a lot of pimps Canadian in Canada. Canadian pimps. You really weep with bullshit? You know you respect pimping. Yeah, oh, you respect What the fuck pimping. are you talking about? <laughs> you know what Every time you reach for my hand, I always do that. This, that, it doesn't mean that I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> you want some bullshit. Half the time, I don't know you what the fuck you're talking about. You've seen your, like, of course you don't. You've seen your fair share of pimps. Not, not like what? you've been with them. No, no, no. I'm saying you knew some. What the fuck is I'm going on? What kind of narrative is this? I'm, set, I'm setting the Thank class you. Up. Thank you. Thank you. I've been begging for the Sensitivity class. Sensitivity training Mel coming your way. Mel is a gangster on a low. Like, y'all think she's just some type of Canadian soft? Like, no. She was in a hood in Brooklyn. She was in a hood. Niggas, no male. I don't know anything. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't. All right. I know, I know a few pimps male hung out with in L.A. <laughs> Look, see? She probably didn't know they was pimps. Come on, talk about it, Simba. <laughs> She probably didn't know exactly. these things. Come on, she knew. This is my co-host, and you guys <laughs> will, and you guys Thomas. will respect her. No, I love Mel. I love Mel. Like, <laughs> she don't know me, but I'm a real fan of you. Like, oh, thank you. Not even just from being here from the Hollywood Unlocked days. Um, from your earlier career as a vixen, that Thank was you. Oh, this nigga so incredible. I'm on some hate right? shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm serious. laughs> nah, nah, this nigga too smooth. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> nah, nah, he was smooth. He was smooth. I'm serious. He was smooth. That's how green with that. That's that shit he was talking in Starlet. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Though. I'm a real fan. Like, okay, I'm, wait, wait, hold I'm, on. Look, now she nervous, blushing, cheeks red. What was your favorite? Look, cheekbones mad in the air. She ain't rushing to leave no and more I, now. And I, and I heard you've been looking for a young boy to take you out and run around the city. Oh, hey, 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 go. Hey, Let's go! Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm here are, for it. We are cooking I'm here with for oil it. now. Oh, I'm here for oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. now. We are cooking with oil now. <laughs> we are. And it's not olive, lit. nigga. Not olive oil. We cooking with the other shit. Just about to dawn, oh. nigga. No. Simple, nigga. Like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> to die. It is where we are. <laughs> oh, holy shit. I got tears in my eyes. You like to dance to songs like this, man? Oh, shit. He throws it down. He throws it down. He throws it he, he, the man asked you a question, man. And you ain't answer it yet. You trying to hit Siri. Siri call-ish. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to hit that Siri in so your... So he can hear. He can yeah, hear going yeah, on yeah don't do that. Head. A real nigga asked you a question. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what do, what do you look for in a young man? Oh, shit. Not them old niggas. A young man. What do you mean you don't know? You I need somebody might. to help you figure it out? I might. I like, might. Oh, okay. oh, shit. You want to go eat tonight? I, I can't. I'm on a diet. Okay. Well, I'm here till Monday. Oh. If, if any given time you want to go eat, just let me know. Okay. I Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> he fucking got him. <laughs> she totally forgot homegirl was sitting there, yo. Sorry. Yo, my bad. We might... <laughs> 
I okay. have a theory about these the, the baddies like this though. Like when they run into a situation that they can't control with their beauty, they just curl up like <laughs> a slug when you pour salt on it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, Joe. They just the curl f- up. When they when wow. they when they are unable to control the situation like she has for thirty years, I'm sure. <clears throat> It's a lot of <laughs> yeah. A lot of straightening And, oh, and all of this I'm going watching on. my diet I don't know what to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas not being doofy man <laughs> <laughs> Big Mal they, they, got, they got tilapia At the well, listen, Japanese we'll be out. We'll Ew. be outside tonight If uh, Okay If you wanna come If up. you and your and Double date Deborah Wanna <laughs> Yeah Sabrina. Flip what you gotta double do tonight? <clears throat> tonight I can't go out with y'all nigga. I, I, I give trouble uh, um, but you know, I, I pop out of it if anything. Where y'all going? Queens? Outside. No, we don't right, need to stay on the public road. Yeah, that's what I mean. Don't move around. Say no more, my nigga. Yeah. Let, let, you know, let me know where y'all be at. For sure. I want to see this shit go down. <laughs> oh, we gonna turn up tonight, man. My boy Joe introduced me to the strip club. I wasn't a strip club fan. Um, I came out here just not as a fan of the show. Like I told Joe when I first met him, I'm a real Joe Button fan. So the first time we hung out, he took me to the strip club, hung out with Ish. And I'm like, we don't do this shit where I come from, right? And Big then, pimping where you come from. Yeah, putting then. these hoes on the strip. <laughs> <You know what laughs> huh? We putting shout them out outside. To, shout out to E14. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you took me outside, bro. And from that day, I started tour that next day. Mm-hmm. And then being on tour, I just started seeing different things and different cultures. And then I started to take a liking to the strip club. Mm-hmm. So now it's a... It's a little Reoccurring. Different. A little different. Moving all the way to New York different. to go to the strip clubs. Yeah, it's a little different for me. Yeah, man. that's it. Get it. No, we got we gonna have a good time tonight. For sure. We are. And Mel, if you're more than welcome. Well, you ain't coming. Flip invited you to eat, so you probably won't come tonight. <laughs> we can go get your outfit too if you want to go. Oh, this nigga playing for dirty. <laughs> this nigga been dirty, but <laughs> dirty nigga. <laughs> this is a dirty. I like this nigga. Son. <laughs> yeah, you can't say nothing to me no more because I don't I don't hit him with the. We can get your outfit shit to at least date number three or fuck number two. I don't do that either, but for somebody like Mel, it's, I think it's 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 it's, it's kind of yeah. you know you kind of got to do that. Get for rid somebody. of this little poncho shirt, right? <laughs> I, no, I, <laughs> get rid of this little these boots ain't made for walking. <laughs> shit, she got going on right. Yeah, she ain't stopped so blushing yet, yo. <laughs> what? She ain't stopped blushing yet. Uh, nah, for real. She's out of here. Yeah, she's done. She's out of here. She's, she's done. done. It's over. It's over now. It's over. <laughs> Flip, what's up, man? Anything, anything we Mel need to get off our soul? get a whole soul? word out. Nah, we, we don't. Everybody trying to, you know, it's, it's the weekend. Niggas is trying to go home. You know, it feels good. Nah, we're going to take till nightfall, man. <laughs> No, we're not. <laughs> we're, 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 nah, no, we ain't seen that. The flip, Patronis y'all number man. one. Yeah, yeah. we are. Y'all we number are. one, Flip. Come, we yeah. You didn't even, you yeah. didn't even get a motherfucking yeah. intro. Yeah. yeah. You didn't even get yeah. us the yeah. network. Talk to these niggas. Give them the Talk intro. Talk to these niggas. I don't know who they fucking with. Give them the one. intro. You number one. Talk to them. Now you want to sit down. Nah, I'm just saying. Today's a good day. We got civil. I like the magic that's going on here, nigga. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt it. I, I feel like we keep don't. going. This yeah, shit, we can fuck up, and you'll fuck up my content, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, nigga. Let's yeah. go. We yeah, make a content out of anything, yeah. nigga. It's the network. Yeah, the network yeah. facts, nigga. Yeah. Sip in the building, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Freeze. TV. Huh? Huh? Library. Yo. Library yeah. here, nigga. And library here. That's why Mel is acting like that. <laughs> 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 She's trembling, nigga. Holy shit. Her post is wasted. Hold on. Get the fuck we out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Big Simba. Oh, shit. So when you coming again? Pause. Uh, use it. Use it. Track. So um, I'm getting ready to go to Africa. For two All right, weeks. I'm done talking. <laughs> I'm done talking. I'm serious. I'm going to Africa April 14th for two weeks, and when I get back, I'm dropping an EP. Can you tell me about some of the bad things going on in your life? <laughs> like, what are some worries? I'm losing a lot of friends. All right, well, not that bad. Like, you ain't got nothing medium bad? <laughs> nah, all this shit is extreme. God damn. I'm Are losing you... a lot of friends. To what? The streets? To nah, success? Um, everybody just me, can't go with you. Me wanting more for people than they want for themselves. Oh, yeah, everybody can't go. Yeah, everybody so can't it's, go. So it's tough because it's like you're trying to, like, introduce people to what you're around and, you know, help them set up things. But it's like at the end of the day, they still got to execute for themselves. Mm -hmm. And they look for you to walk them through that process. But Mm -hmm. it's like, I'm still going through my own. So it's like, you get to what you got to do so I can get to what we got, what I got to do so we can come together in the end. 
And that just hasn't worked the best. It never does, buddy. With me and my friendship. It never does. <clears throat> it just hasn't worked the best. So it's to the point, bro, to where a year ago, I would have walked in here with about 10 niggas. It's me and my brother today. Shout out to your brother. Shout out to your brother. Shout out to your brother. And you save a lot of money that way. Facts. I'm learning that too. And so headaches. Uh, hotels got a lot cheaper. Just get ready to say that. And oh, headaches. For sure. Yeah. Potential for headaches. Yeah. Or. Cause you know yeah. you have to at least a couple friends that are on some bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and 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 it helps regarding time inventory. But I told you this last time you was here Word. to have somebody with you that you don't have to worry about whether I can trust them. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have to worry about figuring you out. Oh, it's the babysitter. You, yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah. to. Or yeah. you getting you getting into some shit that can fuck all of this up. Right. One thousand percent. We on the same page here, and or me just trying to help you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that can be exhausting. Exactly. Yeah. That's an exhausting fucking lifestyle. Especially when, like, the help is a part of your career. Right. You're still trying to figure it out. Like you said, we all are. Even exactly. no matter where you are in your career, you're still trying to figure new shit out. Exactly. And if you, yeah, the correct. people around you aren't doing the same, then fuck are we doing? Why and I'm you, somebody that's, like, I'm very inquisitive. So it's like, I always tell people, like, um, I look at the industry, the entertainment industry as like a skyscraper, right? So it's like, once you come through the door, you in here. But it's like, you got to get to the first floor, second floor, third floor, do all these things to get to the top. I'm somewhere like on like the ninth floor right now, right? And I'm still figuring out how to get all the way up there. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I need pieces around me that can help me figure out how to get all the way up there. They're still right. trying and to get the door, dog. They, they still trying they're to still get trying the to find door. The address. Or, they not they're still trying to find the address. Yo, or not just they that. Some people just be them. happy getting in the door. That's it. That's it. That's I'm it. in the yeah. door. I'm good. I don't Facts. even need nothing else. Yeah. And now they're holding you back. Facts. Bro, we fuck this. We trying to get up there. We're trying to get up there. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> this shit ain't nothing. <laughs> this shit ain't nothing. Yeah. This ain't nothing. Lobby's cool, but this yeah. is a lobby. We trying to get up there. Like, that's where, that's where it gets difficult. Right? Probably even more gratifying to do it with a beautiful lady by your side. I mean, I'm trying to take her to eat. It's up to her to say mm. yes or no. Mm. It ain't got to be. You know I mean? you know, they you got a little they got fruit, fruit bowl your, yeah. spots. They got yeah. little vegan restaurants, whatever that shit you on. That's too cheap for me. Mm. Mm. You know what's so crazy? Some barbecue for real. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I know, I know my co-host. She like this shit. <laughs> she feeling refreshed like she took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> She like she took a shower, nigga. Well, you got it, nigga. She look like she took a shower. Yeah. Her whole energy yeah. took a big man. Look, she tearing up and shit. It's okay. We got you. Oh, man. I always going to have your back, gang. Jesus. That nigga will sell off his cold. <laughs> he is horrible. Because she got to live. You. She got to live, son. It's like, she out here by herself and shit. How is your, how is your, how is your transition been? Oh, shit. It um it hasn't been the easiest, but See, thank you for it's asking. You gotta look. Without going too much into detail, give us a little insight. Um, <laughs> moving back to the East Coast was was oh, difficult. I'm about to take this. Why was it difficult? <laughs> um, just because I was not planning on it at all. You know, like it just it took a lot of mental fortitude to really wrap my mind around being back over here. I had a certain plan, and it just didn't work out just due to circumstances that were out of my control. Yeah. And so um, I think that's the hardest part for everybody is when you have a certain plan. You know, we plan God laughs kind of yeah, thing. When you have a certain plan for yourself and then you realize that certain things that were completely out of your control derailed it and then you have to figure it out. Yeah. You know, while you make it look effortless. Yeah. You know, and it, you just have that I guess you're conditioned to feel that way, especially in this business, to always project like everything is fine, uh-huh. uh, this fake facade. And, you know, it just, it was, it wasn't exactly the so would, easiest. So would you say you're a planner? You're somebody that likes to plan things ahead? Um, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little I bit. I can understand I, that. I, I, I mm. do my best. I do, my favorite thing to say is I do my best with the tools that I've got at my disposal. Gotcha. And sometimes, every once in a while, I get a new tool added to my toolbox. Dog, you know, dog. Jesus. Okay, I'm just flirting with you. Can you stop? I'm not shut, flirting. I can really you wanted shut the to fuck know up about a toolbox. I'm sometimes not my tools in the shed. All I have to come out to work with is just my tool. No, I'm not flirting. This nigga's whining and dying. I'm not and flirting. You I just so, wanted to know. No, she's so distraught inside. Oh, I just gotta come to work like my therapist said and practice everything that she said. <laughs> 
fucking Joey. They're French. Yo, yeah, this nigga's not talking about the toolbox. Oh, come on. Poor baby. Coming here has been the upside of all that shit, though. For sure, for sure. I think, you, I think you've added a certain element to the podcast. Thank I'm you. not going to lie. As a fan, I told Joe, I was a fan of this show from, I want to say, February 2015? Or was mm. it 2016? Don't even remember, right? So since the rip. Yeah, I've been here from the beginning. Um, so I've watched every episode mm. from the beginning. And I was wondering for a minute, like, where, you know, what's the next... Iteration. F- phase of it, right? Because Joe has become fucking... Tom Joyner, right? Like he's like he's he's the he's the guy, right? So it's like, what's the next elevation of it? Then when I seen you and Flip, I was like, my nigga figured it out. My nigga added the right people that needed to be here, especially with someone like you, um, as a woman who has insight, right? And somebody that's in tune with the culture and been a part of it. Most women could come on this show and be very combative. Mm-hmm. Um, be disagree with a lot of things men say. You find a way to integrate yourself in the middle of it and explain an explanation that most people can't. So I appreciate mm-hmm. you for that. Thank you. Just as a fan of the show. Thank you. I appreciate that. For sure. <laughs> that boy good, yo. <laughs> I'm serious. Nah, I, know, I know you are. I'm, I'm, just... on, I ain't, I'm on some hating shit. I don't like that <laughs> shit. That, that shit flow too well. I don't like shit like that. This shit, this shit is crazy. <laughs> I'm texting this nigga it. smooth. I'm texting it's right now. Oh, I, thought, I thought you was I thought you was writing down these lines. Nah, I gotta write some of this shit down. <laughs> she ain't said a piece. I just Y'all be, ain't even. I just be relying on them looking at me when I blow the hookah smoke in their face. <laughs> I gotta, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty cute, right? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is smooth. God damn, you ain't even heard no you game right like that. It's a, look at this. Why old, you tearing up, old ass up. nigga? Y'all gotta. Shut the fuck God up. damn. <laughs> God damn. <clears throat> dog, you could Google a dog sitter. Shit, sit down. <laughs> you can leave for a few. I hate chick like that. I don't know who's gonna watch my dog. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can come with you because I have a small dog. You know, Davy. <laughs> I dress her like. I she has to eat. She needs a lot of attention. And in my tool shed, my therapist said that <laughs> if, if I want to be <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, we are flirting. <laughs> hate to find weird bitches, right? We're not flirting. Oh, oh god. my god. <laughs> Look at Flip. <laughs> <laughs> Flip don't like this shit. Flip dead ass. He don't like this shit. Flip is dead ass, though. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me see. New music. <laughs> And you got to make it up that Scott, that building you was talking about before AI Simba does it. Uh oh. You want to talk about the AI? I'm retired, so I don't give a fuck. I'm rooting you know, the niggas on. You but know y'all active rappers. You know niggas ain't writing their raps no more, right? I know. They type in, write me a song for a demographic between the age of 18 and 25. And the AI generates all those feelings and they come up with verses for them and they go in there and rap them. But what happens when you think the AI needs to redo the song or the verse? See, I think, that comes up, I think that comes down to the artist because I've played with it, right? And there's certain things I didn't like, but I fix it. You fixed it yourself. Yeah. You didn't rely on AI to fix uh-uh. it. Got it. Oh, so you could do it. You, that's pretty ill. Yeah. yeah, you can I edit will, it. I will edit and tweak the mistakes that yeah. AI made. Or and make it mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. let me see what they'll say. And then based off what's for my fan base, I'll tweak it based off what it says. That's what I figured they were doing anyway. That's the most gangster shit I ever heard in my life. To build the industry the way they built it, not pay us for streams or anything else. Man, Have talk us participate about it. long enough for them to figure out how to do it on their own without us. Talk about it. That is some that's some mo- that's some of the most gangster shit I ever heard. Talk about it. So now it's like shit, in ten years, labels ain't even gonna need to sign artists. They can just type in the fucking song they want to make. Well, they then they, then they got the, what they doing now. The well, they man. already tried to sign the AI dude, but then they jerked him. See, I just found <laughs> out. I just found out like three days ago about the AI that make beats. Mm-hmm. So, so it's Why one that shit sound like it's AI. Yeah, it's one that make beats. It's, well, it's a lot of this shit that's that you listen to today that sound like an AI made it. One thousand percent. Like ain't nobody sit down to do this. Listen, I came in months ago and said I could tell. I can tell the AI generated YouTube content that's critiquing our shows yeah. and nobody's really watching it now, 
But that should be scary for some people. It's very scary because it's like... It's people making a living doing that. Imagine, imagine how long everybody been wanting to hear a Joe Button verse. Right. We could just literally go do it right now. You can't. You could take the voice, everything. I'm nicer than all them computers. You them can computers can't fuck with me. We could do it. And if I came back today, I, I thought about it the other day. I actually wrote some shit in my phone a little bit. Oh, shit. I did. Drop that shit. Where my phone at? Come on, let us hear that shit. Come on, man. Clap it up, man. Let us hear it. I'm going to tell you, once he start, doing, once he start writing it, you can, you can forget it. Let me see what you nah, got. Just give I, us the first nah, line. Just give us the first crazy. line. Hold up. Give I, us the first I, I line. Oh, yeah. He bugging. No. Nah. Give us the first line. No, nah, I didn't write none. All I wrote was... Um, these blasphemous sum summaries are rather under me and Ooh. a bunch of other shit. I just went, I just wrote all that. It was too, it was, sometimes I had to write it. In my head, it was sounding fine. I was like, oh, I might have to come back to blasphemous summaries. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's hard, though. These blasphemous yeah, summaries Marks. are under me. Yo, it sounds a little, that's so bad sounds a little cannabis -ish. That's so bad, man. <laughs> a, no, but I just moved it out on the edit. Oh, okay. On the edit, I just moved it out. It's a that's little I want to hear rappers say these blasphemous summaries. I do. It's, it all depends on what comes next. Oh, Socrates, blast philosophy. These niggas a, 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 a bazooka <laughs> blowing these niggas' ass on pause. <laughs> I ain't playing. But I just thought about it's probably like it's probably a large community of people out there that have no idea I ever rapped at all today. I, I think so. I agree. I agree. Well, they I know, so. they know, well, they know, they know you are. They probably just never heard your song. They don't pump it up. My Great. son's my son's mom only know you as a podcaster. See, I think that's dope. I think there's so much equity in that. Like, if you have the ability to just pop up nice as hell to a bunch of people that never heard nothing, that's fly to me. Yeah, that's fly to me. No, nah, she she knows you as a podcaster. So when I was like the number one podcaster, the number one, number one in the world, numero uno, talk yeah. to him. But um, <laughs> when I used to like tell her you was an artist, because I remember I told you we was living in Vegas at the time when I first started watching the show. So when I used to go back into your music catalog, she'd be like, "Wait, he's a he's an artist too." I thought he was just a, a, a podcaster. I'm like, "Nah." Mm -hmm. mm. Normally when I let ordinary love shit blast in the speakers for him. Yeah. Yeah, nah, you right here, check this out. Stupid bitch, I hate you, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they get it done at time. Yeah, nah. All right, so Simba leaves Monday. Yeah. Which is today. Yeah, Matter gotta, of fact, Mel, you know what I'm doing Sunday? Oh, I was talking to you, though. I was saying something. <laughs> I'm oh, joking, by the way. My bad. Go ahead, get your shit off. You want to go to the game Sunday? What game? The Nets game. Why are you whispering? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go to the game Sunday? Fuck Man, off, these fucking flip. weirdo chick. Yeah. You gotta ask. You don't. You don't have to answer that for the yeah, public. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because tough being on. The but if you want to go, you have an open invite. Oh shit! Thank you. All right, for sure. Thank you. Probably good seats. I don't even too. know who playing Sunday. What's Sunday? Oh, we got great seats. Who playing on Sunday? The the Yankees. Who they, who they play, bro? I don't know. The Yankees? You wouldn't go to the Yankees? Didn't you say it was the Nets? Yeah, I'm going to basketball. Oh, game. basketball. I'm just talking shit. Oh, okay. Net that's game. Tomorrow, right? That's nice. That's, that's a nice, nice little look. That's nice. Yeah. That's a nice little look right there. A net game. And the seats ain't bad. Come Are we on. floors. We, Big no, Simba, come on. We ain't, we ain't bad going. Seats. We ain't going A2. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Flory. Yeah, we ain't mm. one. Flory Lanes. Flory Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Not Flory. I'm just getting the kick out of watching Mel. Flory and Story. She can't even. <laughs> Where we at on time, my brother? <laughs> <laughs> 90 minutes. Uh, uh, so... Pause it. Pause it. <laughs> All right. Got a, got a little guest there with you? Yeah, we got a new guest. <laughs> What's wrong, Mel? Why, why are you laughing at uh, Nothing, because my dog is really funny. <laughs> Dogs don't lie. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Wow. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. All right. Let's get it. Oh, we got a new right. guest. We gonna introduce our new guest. Oh, that's uh, Daisy's made an appearance. Say what's up. Come on, give, give me some, give me some woman logic. Come on, give me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, Bell. I'm, I, I gotta hear it. Daisy's made a new friend, so I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, my dog like my dog took a yeah. liking to you, so Daisy seems to like you. She, it's funny she never acts like that with people. 
She didn't never does that. But she ran reason. right out of the room and jumped straight you know? to you. Daisy, a good dog. Dogs are great judges of character. They say. <laughs> Daisy likes you, so I'm They pick up on energy very well. Yeah. <laughs> all that. All, <laughs> they get you the all of it. All of oh, it. Yeah. The energy going to come in there somewhere. <laughs> they do, though. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I got a bulldog. I got a bulldog. I swear. I got a bulldog, right? If my mom walk in my crib, he runs straight to my mom. If my stepdad walk in, he... <laughs> but my stepdad, like, he aggressive. So it's like he he could sense it. So it's like as soon as my stepdad walk in, he just start growling. No, mm. don't tell that story in a room full of men, all right? <laughs> I'm telling you don't, the truth. don't try to pull out your girly girl stories. I'm right telling now. you the truth, man. Um, in better news, okay. Uh, I do have a surf update. What's up? Oh, yeah. I can't share it, but I have it. <laughs> okay. All right. And you guys will see it soon. I'm assuming. Is it good? Positive. I think it's positive. This nigga, this, this nigga is the man of twenty lives, yo. That's good to hear. Good enough. When did you get the update? But why you look bothered about it? No, I'm happy. Oh, okay, if you look bothered that I had the update and you didn't. <laughs> like you tilt, man. Don't tilt your head. When did you get? No, I'm just saying that's shout to surf. That's my man. Free him. Shout out to surf, man. That's that's my man. Free surf him. has this fucking trick. <laughs> trick he does where he beats all of y'all in a battle with jail bars, and when he needs more, he, he goes, goes to back. Jail. <laughs> 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 and then he sits there for a few years. Go re- go, and go. he comes out with more <laughs> jail bars to beat y'all again. Man. I don't know how y'all <laughs> let him do this, <laughs> yo. Y'all should not let him go to jail and come back with that whole press nine bar. Get the fuck out of here. Let me ask you this, Joe. Mook versus Surf, who win? You think so? Easily, too. Mm -hmm. Easily? Easily. Easily. I don't think it's easily. Easily. I don't think so. I know. I don't think so. Easily, though. Yeah. I don't think it's I think he wins. Easily. I don't think it's easily. They only beat Surf when he's not focused. Every loss that he's had, I've well, since 2010 or 2011, whatever year that was, I've been there to see the behind the scenes, how you approach this battle, yep. what you think of your opponent, and how you go about it. Mm-hmm. And the only time he ever loses is when he's not focused. Mm-hmm. Fucking girls, I'm on tour, I got a, a mixtape dropping, I'm shooting people, whatever it is. <laughs> but Allegedly. when he sit down and only talking, fuck. Focus on you. He win every time, no matter who's up there. And no I take, it, I take it a step further. When he do that, he don't lose a round in that battle. He don't lose. He's on a listen. Only so him, you think Mook only, wouldn't have the same preparation? Only his fucking dodo head ass get locked up while he on like a sixteen nothing round run. Like he ain't lost a round in like yeah. sixteen rounds. Yeah. I don't know about easily, but I think he wins. I don't know if it's an easy win. Well. This is what's going to happen. He going to go away for a couple years, and Mook has to be, you still have to have the same record and keep the same stature, but that's not what's going to happen. You got to deal with easy now. You got to deal with, Mook just got to go on a few battles, and it's going to be an uphill battle in a few of them. Yeah. Surf might not even, he might not be the same Mook by the time Surf get on. But do you think Mook has been prepared for Surf for years? Yes. Yeah, but everybody's uh, got a plan to get punched in the face. Okay. I don't think that he's going to just beat Moot like that. I don't think he just beats Moot. I'm going to flip. And also, it depends on. Flip uh, be wrong about everybody he go for, by the way. That's not true. He definitely was wrong about. I had Moot beating Geechee and Moot beat beat Geechee. Oh, see, I didn't even care about that. I didn't even care about that. I got Moot beating Easy. You had Hollow beating Easy. No, you're talking about, uh, not Hollow. I mean, not Hollow, Hitman. Hitman. Yeah, Hitman beat me. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I was there for Surf versus Hollow. Yeah. Like, we lived together. Yeah. I was one of the people saying, nigga, you stupid as hell taking this back. <laughs> I don't know why you did that. Yeah. But he was focused, he showed up prepared, and most people say that he won that battle. So I think he won that battle. The boy, the boy's good. The boy's good. Very His crew good. Crew is good. They doing. Well, he's right locked in. He's Shout good. out to Surf, man. And, also, and he coming out with bars that he wrote from sitting up. This nigga's little jail plan is alright sometimes. So he just go to jail and put the roll out together. Yeah, 
<laughs> you drop some shit, put a few projects out, do a couple battles, go sit down. <laughs> put the roll out together. Yeah, his boy's good. The boy's good. Free to wave. Free to shout wave. Shout to Surf. Shout out to Mama Surf. Shout out to Newark. Shout out to all of y'all, man. Bionic 7. <laughs> For sure. For sure. All Perhaps. right. What else is important? I had a question that I wanted to ask y'all. Uh... I'm not going to waste anybody's time with what Jim Jones is saying about the Drake and Jay-Z conversation. What do you say? See? Drake's the best. Yeah. Drake's the best? Mm-hmm. Out of whole? See, best rapper ever, I think. Uh, see, we he, only talking rap? Yeah. Here's my thing. Here's my thing about that. And we ain't got to spend a lot of time on this. Was Jim saying any of this before Drake brought them out at Apollo? No. Okay. Then I'm, I'm cool. I think if we only talk in rap, he's wrong. You can't say, I don't think Drake is a better rapper than Hove. I think he's a better artist. I think he makes more commercial music, but if we just talking about pure ability to rap, I think Hove the GOAT. I don't think the Drake thinks he raps better than Hove. Yeah, so I think I'm Hove not. the GOAT. When it comes to pure ability to rap, I'm going to let your artist statement slide because he got more slaps than the Beatles, so it's hard to argue it, but... I mean, he can sing. It sounds funny when you Drake say Drake can it. be Jamaican when he want to. <laughs> <laughs> he can be from the South when he want to be. He could be from Toronto. He could go jump on Summer Walker remixes. He could do whatever the fuck he wants to do, which gives him the ability to do things some of us can't. Go make a, t- uh, uh, a dance album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he could do whatever he want to do. So I think his artistry is top tier. But if we just talking pure ability to rap, I don't know about that. I agree. Dog. Oh, it, oh, it stopped. Nah, they was about to get into singing the coal. It's from, <laughs> from Drake concert. He made the crowd sing the coal. Yeah. We'll He's always, the coldest. We'll, we'll always love coal. He's the coldest. I think he, uh, I think he mastered how to play the game. Definitely did that. Yeah, he did that. I think he mastered how to play the game, and he's the best at it. I don't think we've ever seen someone play the game at this level uh, like Drake. So I'll agree with that. Shout out to, shout out to Drake. The I agree boy, with that. The boy is the truth, for sure. Yeah, he's that dude. He's that dude. He's that dude. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. <laughs> Lastly, for you guys. Okay. Well, this nigga yawn. He's sleepy over you. I ain't yawn. Your Lasix went bad? Are you saying, is, is it the question about the children? Yeah. Lasix is great. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to ask y'all that because What's up? I just think it's a great question. X. How do you deal with or what do you do when your children or child hurts your feelings? Please take a moment to think before you respond. If your child is not old enough for you to have gone through this, just think and try to picture yourself in the future. But I don't mean the little tiny bullshit like your kids saying no or getting the candy or defying your punishment rules. I mean, when your kid rock your fucking world, rock your whole little parent infrastructure Mm. with some shit that makes you feel maybe underappreciated, some shit that offends you, some shit that now you got to investigate where this came from. How did your kid even get a download to speak to you like this? Like, what do you do when your child makes you go to your room and lock the door? (laughs) (laughs) I've there. had my moment with this. Uh, I handled it totally wrong and had to go and seek professional help and came back and redid it the correct way. But I'm seeing parents out there struggling with that moment when your child comes to you and says something you never thought they would ever say and that it just slaps you in the face. My Has son's, anyone here going through any of that? My son's three, so I haven't experienced that. You're not yet. there. Your daughter's yeah, young. My daughter's three. Flip. The closest I've been I didn't to bring that, this up for you. Honestly, the closest I've been to that was something small, like, you know, I I, I want to go to mommy's house. I don't want to be here right now. I want to go to mommy's house. Something like that. And that hurts. Mm. But I just that's the closest I've been to it. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> I gotta put it. So it's different ways, man. I think that a lot of times uh it doesn't feel good. I'm um, just this morning, man. I got on Jr. Man, he was, and he—I don't think he did it on purpose, but he had. I told him to move my shoe, and he had, like, my shoe dropped. Like, threw it like a little bit, but he didn't do it on purpose. I said, like, "Man, I just, 
I said, man, I got it, I got to get it. And I said it loud. Like, and he threw your shit out the window or something? No, 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 no. no. He was just moving. He didn't do it on purpose. I know he didn't do it on purpose. That's respect. It's respect. But, 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 it's probably yeah. a mistake. Well, whatever. Hey, don't make fun of my pop, my shit. <laughs> no, 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 you can't do that. Nigga. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm really a proactive father. You can't crack a joke with him. You, I'm going to check him. Check him, get that nigga. No, nah, I'm going to check him. You can't. I'm not, we're not with no joke shit. Sherry, if you ask a serious question about kids. My son threw my shoe. I thought he threw it on purpose. And I said, nigga, don't throw my shoe, nigga. So, I am. So your son. You're being out mad sensitive. Hold on. Your so, son can't so throw your shoe. So your son, your son no, upset no. you because he threw your shoe. Yeah. You're fucking wild. I am. <laughs> You're fucking wild. I, and, no, I'm, he's and, a wild boy. and I'm gonna stand on that. I can't throw my mother's shoe, nigga. I'm talking to you. You throw my shoe. Don't get mad. I have to say what. So I said, I got it. I didn't get mad at him. I just said, no, don't throw my shit. I got it. Like that. I'll, I'll take it. Don't worry about it. But I was telling him, don't do that, my nigga. You don't gotta get mad and do it if you did it on purpose. But not times I tell How old is your son? He's right there. He's 19. 18. Oh, I see why you got mad. 18, I'm not a little kid. No. When you said JR, I thought it was like a. Oh, you right there. Oh, okay, yeah, I would have got mad too. Slide him. <laughs> you gotta got mad too. You gotta watch how you talk to your son. <laughs> no, no, no. But but a he lot of times, man, too, he might. You gotta you gotta be able to be open to um Pop, like what? when you used to when you were disciplinary, right? And you deal with things one way. Once they get older, and you start to see things, and especially when society uh, deems certain things uh, not kosher to how you're supposed to treat a kid. Uh, the kids get brave and start saying shit. And you have to be able to be like, hmm. it, like it bothers me a little bit. You know what I mean? To be honest, with my son, if any of my children, because of how I am as a parent, because of how I raise my children, if they talk crazy or say anything, one way to handle it is to check them. I'm either gonna grab them up, like what are you talking to, or something like that. But then when a nigga get big, like how he big, you can't really grab him up anymore. So now what you have to do is that you have to look within because if I attack him, it's gonna either I have to hurt him or he might hurt me. So you have to be able to like, it's a really a reflecting mode. You know what I mean? You got to reflect on it. It's really complicated with the shit with children when they get big and saying shit, how they feel and shit. You got to be able to eat that. And I'm asking you all this as men because years ago we figured out how the women deal with this, right? True. Like that's how y'all spent that summer with your dad. <laughs> it is. In case y'all don't know, that's how it happened. It is. You thought it was just a summer with dad. No. Mom said, get, get, this, come little get this little nigga bad out. motherfucker out of my house before I go crazy. And even these shits that Flip talking about, Flip Kid is respectable and polite. So the shit he talking about is still like, oh, you yeah, talking about sneaker? Yeah. He's like, I'm talking about when your kid look you in the face and say, I'm going to live with him. Fuck all that. Like some wild no, shit. No, no. My, 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 my. Some wild shit. Nico, Nico, Nico. Nico be, I never gave a fuck about none of that shit you ever did be growing up. I never had none of that shit, daddy. Damn. <laughs> nah, Nico, my, my, my young son. Well, you have a man-to-man -man talk with your son. Yeah. And then they go tell mom in a different way. Then it happened, all right? Now mom's calling before. about the man to man, like she got a dick, Ooh. right? Dad Come before. on, we can talk. Look, dad scared to death in here. Oh, me? Nah, nah, it's not, not even. Not me. <laughs> hey, it's, it's not even that. My bro. young son said he wasn't going with me before, Nico, right, JL? Yeah. I'm not getting Oh, up. shit. <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> no, the fuck you not. <laughs> no, you're not. Now both of y'all getting dressed. <laughs> now come out. Both of y'all, family <laughs> trip. Who the hell are you talking to? That's a fact. I'm, I'm staying here with mom. That's what Nico said. I said, oh, yeah, niggas get dressed. We out. Nico, and he said, he went in the room and said, I'm not getting dressed. What? I can't believe it. Damn. I stayed with mom and mumbling this shit. No, hell no. I'm not with none of that. The same way. I'm scared to know what that feel like. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts. Same. Because, but it also hurts the child. If you think about it, it hurts them too because we really putting them in a position to choose. Right, if, if something like that, but it does hurt when you when when your child chooses. Nigga, I don't want to be here with you, nigga. I'm staying with mom. Fuck out of here. He'll curse like that. <laughs> mom, stay with. Mom. I'm not getting dressed, nigga. Like you ready to take this slap or this ass whipping to stay home or to stay? You coming with me? No. Oh shit. Shit, I don't think. That's a you gotta breathe. I'm not putting you in no place where you gotta choose. Cause True. Don't fuck around and choose me. Gonna <laughs> come cramp my lifestyle over here. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nah, not me. Hey, you learn, but with mama now. Nah, nah I'm gonna go I'm, ahead. Go nah, ahead on nah, now. Nah, let me ask nah. you a question. Don't try to Joe. Come. This is not a I want my boy, friendly. I, I want my boys to come with me. I don't give a fuck. Let me ask you a question. And the Joe. parents want to come to your house. You need to get the socket protectors. No, I have. <laughs> Escorts over here. You, about <laughs> you need to get the cabinet protected, the car that they got. 
What's up? All that shit. As and someone, I'm talking shit. That's this is comedy. As someone with two boys, do you see signs of the younger one that or do you see traits in the younger one that looks familiar as the older one? Oh, for sure. Like what? Conan. Mm. Conan. Mm. Conan. Already. The young one. Let me already. tell you a story. When I was in the first grade, and I'm going to try to keep this short. When I was in the first grade, the teacher wanted to skip me to third grade or second to fourth, one of them shits. And my mom, we went down south where my dad's parents were in Sumter, South Carolina, and my mom was so ecstatic because they wanted to skip me. And one day she was in the house with my grandma and she was going crazy. Oh my God, telling her, oh my God, they want to skip Joey. They say he's so bright, they say he's so smart. They say, oh my God, they say, oh my God, there's all these amazing things. And she was so ecstatic. And my grandma started crying. And then my mom thought she was in the Matrix. She'll tell a story if I ever put a camera on. Yeah. And my mom said, what's wrong? And my grandma said, that's how it starts with all of them. They all super bright. They all excel in school. Facts. And then darkness, mm. Mm. madness, insanity. These kids are so smart. What they do with their brilliance, I can't tell you, but I have six button boys, and you'll see. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, my mom tells that story all the time because. Grandma saw, was right. She saw. Mm -hmm. yeah. Facts. So I could see, I saw in my oldest son early when he was trying to run the game. Because I got game, nigga. Mm -hmm. I know the game. Mm -hmm. That's no. what our kids don't understand. Like, nigga, we've been here before you. Mm -hmm. And the, the brain we, we that's know. coming up with the game, it's like my brain. So like I understand it. I could see that. I could see that in him. My youngest son, of course, much, much, much younger, but... He's the same way. If I say no, no to the green chips, in the next five minutes, he will find a way to get downstairs, climb on top of the cabinet, climb a ladder, put the ladder up here, step on the refrigerator handle, and we'll go get the chips and do what he wants. Buttons want to do what they want to do whenever they want to do on their own terms. You can't tell me shit. I have a problem with authority figures. I'm going to figure out the world. That's what I see in both of them. And that's me, and that's my dad, and... I expect to see it. You know what's crazy yeah. though? When you are a strict parent and you say you got a good good children and you find out they fucking life they've been living. Right, JR is crazy. <laughs> the shit I found about JR is so bogged down. I was like, nigga, what I had to respect it though. <laughs> Me and JR had to talk. You into that, nigga? You was doing that, nigga, up, yeah. renting cars and shit with my <laughs> high school. New shit the same year. And my man had called me, yo, I see your son driving. No way. I called yeah, JR. Exactly. Yo, nigga, you in the car? Nah, my homegirl dropped me off. This nigga JR admitted to me, yo, Pops, I had to pull over on the highway and act like I was somewhere else is quiet on mm -hmm. the bus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was into that? Yo, the first time you find out that your kid been cut in school, it's gonna test, it's gonna test your parent, it is, your parenting. It is. Cause you try your best. Cause you packed him a lunch for the shit. <laughs> nigga threw, threw it. <laughs> nigga it all walked that shit. out, threw it in the trash. <laughs> like they gonna test your parenting, yo. They are. So you just. But some, not all kids are like that. Ready. And I guess we we what do we compare it to movies? We watch the good kids and shit that follow their parents and shit. The shit ain't like that in real life, man. Niggas. The shit, yo, you got told the JR the shit he was into? Wow. Oh, like I compared to me. Yeah, I was word. a good kid. I was a good kid. And I was doing all I was a bad shit. kid. I've been to 11 <laughs> schools, nigga. Yeah, no. I was throwing rocks off the roof onto the ongoing highway, nigga Rogers. Wah! Hitting the glass while niggas driving, ah! crashing, coming into school. There's a kid on the roof. I went on an abandoned building that fell through the whole roof. My father bust my ass that day in school. I'll never forget it. Damn. A lot of shit, bro. I was wait, a terrible kid. Wait till too. mom find out you've been fucking killing birds with your BB gun. Oh, no, that's different. Well, it's just wild shit. You know the fucking shit that go through your brain as a parent if you walk in your kid room and you see a dead bird in a shoebox under the bed? Serial killer. Yeah. In the making. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dahmer. <laughs> Word. Damn. All right, never mind. <laughs> how do you how do you parent that? Like, if you walk in your child's room and see a dead bird in a shoebox, how do you have that conversation? You going to live with your mama? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> like, where do you even start with that? I don't know, but start somewhere. Though. And I hope to never somewhere. have to Word. figure that one out. Yeah, that's crazy. What I've learned about parenting is just it seems there's always going to be. A new surprise and a new lesson mm -hmm. to learn. What I've learned about parenting is I don't know shit about parenting. Exactly. Mm. That's it. I'm figuring this shit out. 
all the advice everybody at, gave me at, and all of that. Calling me. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I'm talking about parents, my mom. That's, that's right. That's crazy. That's love. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's it. You figure I'll it call you right back. I'm I'm filming. <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. Oh, okay. that's right. Shout out to mama. He just called to make sure I was good. That's it. Shout out to mama. Love. That's it. I used to get mad at that. Like my moms would call me all the time for just little things. Yeah. I'm like, mom, I, I just spoke to you an hour ago. And one day she hit me with some deep shit. She was like, yo, it's a day is going to come where you're going to sit it. there and say, yo, you will do anything to get a phone call from me. But you know, I never complained about a phone call from her again. You know what's crazy? I'm cool. I was in Philly before we came out here. We had a show in Philly and we was getting ready to jump on the bus and come down here. And I picked up my phone to call Hovain. And I remember it like, damn, I'm like, bro, not here. And it fucked with me for like an hour just driving because I really was coming out the hotel. Like, let me call Van Tim yeah, on the yeah. way to New York. And it hit me like, damn, bro, go on. Because that was somebody that used to always just like help me line things up when I was out here. And I wasn't even thinking to hit him to just looking for something. I was just, I just like letting him know I'm on the way out there. I just told I said I've been thinking about Van a lot no, recently. Look, look, he's still in my favorites. I can't even take his name out. It's crazy. I can't. I never met somebody that genuine. Mm. I knew whole vein, no bullshit. This is on my son. I knew whole vein for two weeks, and like, man, you all right? Within within three weeks, like he did some shit for me that people ain't never did. Like in a matter of weeks, oh. and it was just like, it was fucked up when he passed because we was just getting to know each other and just getting into a groove. And I called him like, "Hey, bro, I think I want you to be my manager." You know what I mean? And then it was, we talked that Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And then. Was he managing you? He was starting to. Got it. I, that was our, Got it. In our last conversation, he was telling me that. He, he was, was like, starting to. Like, Yo, Simba too? He was like, yeah, yeah, we, we working something out. We got this. And I was like, oh, that's fire. And it that's fucked me up because fire. I'm somebody that naturally has a hard time building a team. Because it's hard for me to find people that's devoted to their mission as I am to mine. So when I met Hovain, I was like, oh, shit. This the person. Like, he gets it. And in two weeks, when I tell you, it was Art Basel show, Ray-Bans, Popeye's commercial, <laughs> all these different things. Like, in a matter of two weeks, I'm like, bro, hey, if we going to keep doing this, like, we let, let's, let's figure this situation out. Mm -hmm. He like, bro, I'm with you. I'm rocking with you. Let's figure it out. Let's do it. Two days later, bro, the situation happened. That, that fucked with me. That fucked with me. And I thought about that on the way up here. And Hovain, Hovain for me, one of the people that, or two of the people that I know would have just randomly caught me with all this list shit and hate going on, oh, yeah. is Hovain and Pat Stay. Mm. Mm. Both, both of them would have hit mm. me and Pat Stay would have DM'd me to talk some shit. You see these bitch ass motherfuckers, you're killing some shit. And Hovain would have hit me to analyze every spot on the list with who belongs, who don't. Just miss some of that shit. The yeah. people that just randomly check up on you. Real talk. I, I, met, I met Hov back in 09 or something. Like, we've been rocking for a minute. But not on no business shit. That's yeah. just my man's. Yeah. Like, even the way he started managing me, I'm like, hey, bro, look, I don't know nothing about this entertainment space shit. I got a couple questions. Mm -hmm. Nigga said, hey, dog, you know my clients. You know my roster list. I'm not pressed for no new I'm not pressed for no clients. Mm -hmm. If you want me to take care of shit for you to make sure you know you straight I got you and that was the end of our conversation man it's crazy only, cause it. I knew him I knew him we met in May May of last year and we just was cool we would just talk and yeah. just it wasn't about business it wasn't about nothing it was mm -hmm. just he would send me random Instagram posts like what you think it is or like mm -hmm. what, how you feel about this list or whatever it may be and we had gotten so cool to where in October it was just like hey bro Let's do some work together. He was like, shit, what you want to do? And I was like, what can we do? And he started telling, we could do this, we could do that. Could, I'm like, let's do it. Three days later, shit was moving. Yeah, and that's what always, honestly, that's what always surprised me about him. Like, I used to tell him, nigga, I know who you manage. I know, I know what these niggas got going. Mm -hmm. Bro, within a week of me and him starting business together, they could call me. I, I told him some shit I wanted to do. I was like, yo, you know anybody at Twitch? Next thing you know, I got a meeting. Mm. I got a Twitch situation. One phone call. Mm. Like, 
anything else. Yo, I, I like this brand over here. Next thing you know, that's done. And it's like, the shit that always got me about bro was, yeah. you got a lot of motherfuckers that you working with. Mm -hmm. Yet, I never felt like, I felt like I was the only person you worked that's with. That's how I felt. That's how I, felt. I don't know how he did it. I, could, I can't figure it I don't out know to how this he did day. It. That's the same way I felt. I was like, I know he got this, this, this going on. It's like, how he got time to yeah. put all this together? I felt that same way. That's crazy you said that. Rest in peace, Hovane. Oh, Definitely. yeah. Rest Rest we peace. love Rest you. Rest in peace. We miss you. And I know you up there seeing me be number one over these bitch-ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Hey, man. Um, all right, that's what I got. I've poured my heart and soul out to you guys. To the fans out there, to my amazing co-hosts. We love y'all. We've uncovered well, quite a bit today. Simba is smooth, yo. Yeah, no. I got to work on that. <laughs> I got to work on that. But the I was dog watching. is good. Look, but look I was the, watching. Yeah, nah, face? He, he did this whole episode with the <laughs> fucking you dog. You see the dog's face, though. That nah, dog is in <laughs> fucking my homie, paradise right now. <laughs> I, I knew he was smooth when he was tiptoeing over the bar getting his shit off at the strip club, but I couldn't hear him. <laughs> but now that I heard it in the flesh... This you know, that nigga. This nigga gonna be dangerous with a couple hits on this belt. I got hits. A couple. They just not in. They just not in uh, record industry format. <laughs> mm. I got hits though. They gonna be dangerous when that playing start. Oh yeah, <laughs> April twelfth, baby. ESPN. Let's it's a little get it. different. Talking this shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's scoring shit. Yeah, he's scoring shit. He's scoring shit. Now. That's different. true. That's yeah. true. A little different. Let's well, y'all go ahead and worry about your streams I look and playlists and stuff. To you being a New York resident this oh, yeah, summer, for sure. maybe Jersey. I know I didn't want to say that, but that's I, what, I'm already knowing. That's yeah. really the move, though. I had to put that out there just he in came case over Mill here, turned we me went down. To the hookah spice, I'm like, nah, this little strip is my vibe, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it felt like home. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like home. That, that's hey, that's what I said. Yeah. That's what everybody said when they come over here. So yeah, I look forward to you coming. Jersey or Tribeca, one of them. This is so different. Yeah, or, so different. completely different. Yeah. No, both a vibe. Yeah, different vibes. Yeah. yeah, two different vibes, but it's you want both, space or it's no? Vibes I like. Yeah. yeah, that's it. You want space or no? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can get with them museum chicks at another time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, that's, that shit is lit, though. That's fun. Yeah. It's try hard for me out. to run away from... No, nah, not try back. New York in general, though. It's still hard for me to pry myself away from that. I run into a lot of creatives down there. New York in general, you just run... It's, it's easy to link with creatives, yeah. work with creatives. But you could do that in Jersey, too, but it's not, not the not same. Just that. It's um, not the same. No, what I'm saying is, if you live here, you're... 10 minutes from Dog, there. they yeah. talking and I'm looking at New York. They talking like, like it's so far. Is right there. Yeah, but yeah. in New York, I'm, New York is traffic. right there. The accessibility is a little different. That over there. goddamn yeah. traffic could take you an hour to get over here. Like, it took us 35 minutes to get two miles last night. Mm. Yeah, but if you over here, you your life would adopt New Jersey habits. Yeah, no doubt. Gotcha. No doubt. You're absolutely Fact. right. Like, gotcha. Fact. You'd know when not to drive. Yeah. Where mm -hmm. not to drive. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Over gotcha. here. It's smooth, but I ain't gonna tell you. You'll see. You'll see. Maybe yeah, Like, we know if, if I gotta here. go over there to the city, I know what time. Maybe Mel And I'll be right there. Here. We can yeah. all go for some team building. Definitely. Huh? huh? That's my new thing team building. Mm. We can all do some team building. Huh? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do some team building. Yeah. Um, Flip, you good? You good? You got Damn. anything to say to the flip with the, the flippers? Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't rock with the flip set. You don't yeah, rock with yeah, the flip, man. Talk the flip set. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all niggas, man. We got some shit going on. I'm trying to do this new show right now. Yo, you already <laughs> intro yourself <laughs> with Yo, 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 it's your boy Flip. I was asking you to represent the gang and get us out. Here you go. It's your boy Flip. I got some new shit coming. Like, we don't have to get into that right now. Just give us a nice, cool exit. Tell them niggas later. I got a new show coming out, man. Face your, <laughs> face your ex, where I have two people that used to be with each other. Talk to each other for the first time in a couple of years. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm working on. You know what I mean? Um, I'm trying That's to my show that we talked about. No, I, we did not, you thief. Oh, all right. Say yeah, less. Yeah, we ain't talking about no shit like don't that. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> wow. Niggas don't worry thief. about it. Yo, stop. Don't even worry about view it. View Baby stop. stole your you, show. No, I never did. You got to watch these View Babies. Anyway, listen. They, people they go do crazy right now. Some That's views, what I'm even steal your man. Hey, yo, IP. we number one. 
We are number now one. <laughs> I appreciate y'all seriously. Shout out to my man Simba out here. To number smooth, one. Uh, smooth operator. Yeah. <laughs> smooth. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Man, shout out to Mel. Shout out to we'll Big Joe. Thing, right. Big shout Freeze, out to Ish. CP. Free my nigga Ish to his backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Free and boy, he at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> New Joe Biden.